I guess. Oh. I gotta tell you, I ain't too sure this shit is working for me. Hmm. Well, a sense of overriding futility is a vital part of the process. Embrace it. Whatever you say, Doc. Gotta be around here somewhere. Unless they buried it under the sand, fool. Another Gray and Lamar Davis production. Man, fuck you. Hey, excuse me, homie. Can you tell me where Berto Beach House is? No, homie, I cannot. Man, would you come on? Fuck. Actually, yeah. It's that house right there with the yellow stairs. Yeah. Good looking out, homie. Appreciate it. Man, get your stupid ass on. Damn. Why don't you ask him if he knows the fucking owner? Or better yet, do some skywriting and reads there's a couple of niggas here about to boost some cars in case somebody didn't realize. See, what you don't realize is we ain't boosting. This shit is legit business. Legit? Oh yeah, I forgot, huh? 401ks, tax returns and all. Yeah, right. You the one all pumped up on doing this lick, nigga. I'm getting my money in the hood. I'm straight, fool. I'm cool. You cool? Cool what? Slanging dope and throwing up gang signs? Yeah, right. Whatever, homie. Yeah, homie, this the spin knot right here. Your boy Simeon wasn't bullshit. Man, get your ass in me. Hey, bring your ass, fool. Always trying to boss somebody. Come on. Come on. Shit, come on. Damn, this nigga must got the baby dick. <laughs> yeah, and all this shit paid for with bad credit. <laughs> Which one you want, nigga? You always was old choosy, motherfucker. Oh, you balling hard with the drop top, huh? I might just be. Whatever, nigga. It ain't gonna make you go no faster. Hit me on the speakerphone. I'm moving. Oh, it's like that, nigga? What I hear you. Hey, remember we gotta be careful with these rides, homie. The Simeon ain't about to dock my pay again. Homie, man, if you need some bread, I can hook you up with JB's tow truck. It ain't got glamour, but it's some money to be made. So him and Tanya can smoke crack in peace? Homie, I'm good. Come on, Frank! Hey, screw you too, homie. Hey, dawg, we be doing Simeon a disservice if we ain't test these rides out. He ain't even gonna know if they good if we don't push him to the brink. <laughs> you feel me? Hang him right there. Uh-huh. We going right. Yeah, whatever you say. Up here, through the studio. Let's show these movie people how we do. Oh, we feel this shit here, huh? Down this dirty motherfucker. Shit, cool, homie. Keep busting, low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You little dick nigga. 
niggas do like them little cars. Shit, I heard you talk, homie. You big everywhere except where it counts. Fool, knock it off. How about we let Tanisha decide that? She definitely ain't dumb enough to fuck with your ass. I'm schooling your ass, boy. Please, homie. Right, homie? Yeah, that's cool. Left here, we going through the parking lot. Fine. This meant to be your shit. Whatever you say. We buzzing the Union Depository, motherfucker. That super bank? Motherfucker, you an idiot. What you going slow up the road for, dog? Move over so the traffic can flow through. Whatever, nigga. I'll let something flow through your ass. Dog, I ain't too sure that joke works, dog. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, the one time. Be cool, fool. We got the paperwork. Whatever, you explain that shit. I'll see you at the dealership. Explain that shit, my ass. And I will not sell you this car. I will not. You make my skin crawl, you neo-Nazi. Hey, you are all the same. You're disgusting. This racist insulted me. Hey, what's up, fool? Who are you calling a nigger? No, no, I'm not calling nobody a nigger. Wait, what the fuck? I, I mean, N-word. I, I, that, that's not cool, man. I, I don't say that. You fucking right, and you better keep it right, because this man right here, he's an international businessman, a multiculturalist. That I could not have said better myself. Ah. But seriously, maybe he's not a racist. But I don't think that he is man enough for a car like this. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> this guy right here, him? Get him a hybrid. That's a real man's car. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are right, Lamar. You get a tax rebate. I understand. Money is an issue, eh? Money isn't an issue. This is the best part. Watch this when he real mean. He gonna get all his full money. Watch this. Look, man, I gotta go. <laughs> hey, Samia. I'm out. I'll holler at you, homie. <laughs> it's the best part, man. So, Jimmy, are you sure you are man enough? Take the wheel and show me. Uh, sure, okay. How about we fall through, homie? trying to impress. Your auntie Denise with all that ass, nigga, she got ass. She grown, yeah. She grown into a fucking idiot. Nah, she's sexy. Sexy? She more like obsessed with sex, nigga. Nah, mad for the penis. That's exactly how I like my women. Man, shit, it's good to be home. Can a low come up in your crib? 
Man, fuck you. I see you at work. My nigga don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe you got rid of that old yee ass haircut you got. You get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon, the lawyer she fucked with. Nigga. What? Oh. Ooh, honey. <laughs> Y'all telling me? Oh, he here. We living on top of each other, and it ain't right. Shoo! Shoo! Get on out of here! Okay, baby. I see you at the thing. You here? I was on the phone, boy. Don't be listening. Goddamn freeloader. Franklin! Hey, what's going down, huh? The market, my boy. Liquidity's a bitch. Get over here so I can give you the new repo list. All right, dog. I'll be around when I get a chance. Hey, what's up, Simeon? My dear boy, so good to see you. So good. Hold me. <laughs> yeah, look, man. Look, we've been working together for about a few months now, right? Which is why I am very honored to announce to you that you are employee of the month. Huh? Anyway, congratulations. It wasn't easy picking a winner. <laughs> yeah, me, Lamar, your nephew Sacha with the Twitch. Look, man, it's been a real honor, homie. But I gotta move forward in my life. It seems like all I do is let people tell me what to do and I do it and nothing changes. I tell you what, my boy. You tell me exactly what you want and I will very carefully explain to you why it cannot be. What? Today is repossessing vehicles that fools have purchased at exorbitant interest rates. But tomorrow, together, <laughs> I never had a black son. But if I did, I want him to be just like you. Knock, knock, ah. nigga. <laughs> Hello, What's up, Lamar. What's up, homie? What's up, then, homie? What's up, dog? Franklin here has been awarded Employee of the Month. You fucking with me, right? Man, we both being fucked with, dog. Man, knock it off, man. For real, after all the motherfucking work I put in, man. Man, fuck this Employee of the Month shit, homie. I'm sitting up here trying what to get What you mean, fuck this employee of the month shit, man? When it's some shit to be won, goddammit, I want it. I don't give a fuck what it is. You know what I'm talking about? I take no prisoners. I go hard doing this shit. Big dog, big nuts. When names is on the motherfucking board, I want to see my name at the top of that motherfucking next to it. It needs to say, winner. <laughs> hey, maybe next month, huh? Man, fuck next month, Simeon. What about today? I, I demand a retrial. Today is nothing. Just a bike. Hasn't made the payment at all. Some kid at Vespucci Beach. His name is Esteban Jimenez. Is he in a gang? Curiously enough, 
I did not inquire when he bought the bike. <laughs> we got work to do, uh, employee of the month. Man, fuck you and come on. Man, you's about a yes master ass nigga. What we waiting for? Magellan Ave, nigga. Best beauty beats. And you still rolling with that old raggedy ass here? That country bumpkin shit is enough to get us shot right there. I never took you to be old hairstylist type bitch, but now it's all starting to make sense. Hey, wasn't that motherfucker who took the bike that S.A. Vagos do? With the tattoo on his face and shit? Yeah, that was him. Fuck, homie. I don't want no unnecessary bullshit here, all right? Nigga, I don't give a shit. There's a reason Simeon pays a couple of mean-looking motherfuckers to come repo this shit. We ain't Girl Scouts. In your case, I ain't so sure about that. Man, step up, nigga. Of course this dude real. Who else gonna have to require a surplus of paper and deficiency of brain cells? He just put a dub down on this bike. 20 G's? With a 3 G note? Damn, that motherfucker must be tricked out, dawg. Man, this whole setup designed to take drug money. All right, man, look, we go in quiet. In and out, no fucking drama. I'll try, homie, but I'm one loud, dramatic, brass, crazy, greedy, shooter, motherfucker in the back type motherfucker. And you love me for it, nigga. <laughs> That's right, homie. Nothing but love, nigga. I'd send me the funny dude, though, huh? It's gonna be a shame when we get to book his ass and jack him for all this shit. What the fuck you talking about? You a psychotic motherfucker. That's how shit work, ain't it? You do some jobs for a fool, develop a little uneasy relationship, and then they ask you to do something above and beyond. You fall out. Fools get capped, and then you start all over again with some other fool. Where the fuck you get that from? That ain't my life, dummy. How about the boy with the eye from around the way? Marcus or something? You were slanking for him, and then he got what was coming, right? That was different. That dude had it coming. I don't want to clap my boy Terry in either. I like homie. It's just smacks of the inevitable. Look, dawg, this time we legit, homie. This honest work is going to end up with us coming up in the world. Oh, really? That's a nice change from fools coming up on us. That's trill, homie. You damn straight that's trill, partner. But it's a shame I don't believe it. You want to drop some notes on that shit? I give you the eyes, homie. You Apache motherfuckers love y'all best, huh? You should go work on one of them reservation casinos. Only that kick your ass off for being a fraudulent imposter, motherfucker. You and all your little racial stereotypes and shit? I find them offensive. I'm very sensitive to your intolerance, my nigga. here, man. No shit, nigga. Hola, amigos. Hola, S.A. Uh, so you trying to creep up in here, man. Yeah? You saw this, motherfucker? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Vamos. Fuck. Fucking die. Hey. Come on down, everybody. Come on down. Hey, nigga, I would've just got my ass beat over a fucking cunt fight. Man, stop being a pussy, nigga, and grab that heat. That's for our luck, homie. Oh, shit. On your left. Oh, Find your bitch ass to cover. Oh, shit, man. Motherfuckers on the scaffold is on me. Shoot up that canister. <laughs> Follow me. Let's get through this. Damn, man. Just when I thought this shit was clearing up. Flipping bricks is easier work, dog. Hit the fucking floor. Up there, to the right. 
up there, shoot that nigga. Bust his ass. Over there, they coming out that door. You a sad bro. Get your fucking head down. They trying to fail, get that ride. Some more of them niggas. Man, fuck this. Shoot the gas, homie. You still breathing, homie? Yeah, barely, homie. Shit, we gotta get the fuck away from this shit. Man, we only came here for a bite. And that a motherfucker is right there. Hey, nigga, come here, we got your pink slip. May as well get this shit done. Man, this is fucking crazy. You know you the designated. Let's get him, homie. I want to get paid. Paid ain't worth shit when you're doing 25 with an L. We massacred those motherfuckers. Shit. Get away, we're going down, homie. He gonna pin us for all these bodies. And whose fault is that, mister? 80s action movie body count, motherfucker? Don't play the blame game. Just get on this shit. Pop that fool. We need him on his ass so we can get what we came for. We want your bike. Dog, we gotta lay low. Get the bike and meet me at the car wash on Innocence. All right, drive safe. Man, I can't hang with your ass for a while, bro. You a psychopath. You done finally fucking lost it. Nigga. That's that Apache blood in me, homie. You ain't lucky I ain't do a flying tomahawk and scalp they motherfucking ass. We can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting chief asshole. Nigga, and we ain't going to neither, nigga. I'm gonna keep this motherfucker for myself. Tell Simeon we couldn't recover. You fucking tell him, you fucking moron! Boy LD, long dick, holla at me. You don't like me because you think that I am an Arab. What? No, what are you talking about? Something like that. Excuse me. Wait. That oh, wait, boy. I, I... I am his mentor. I am so proud of you. What do you mean, a mentor? Don't worry about that. Okay, so what you got for him? James DeSanta. Some kid. He is already late on his payments, and I have this bad feeling that he will do more damage to the car than we can get back from him in the exorbitant interest rate payments. Huh? Just go and get it. The house is on um, uh, Hampstead uh, off Eclipse. It's an SUV. Huh? Some Rockford Hills daddy's boy nonsense. Don't worry about it. Try to bring the car back in good condition, huh? Gotcha. Don't worry about it. It's so good to see you, my boy. Hey, good luck in uh, law school, huh? So, Mr. Kenneth, were we at uh, financing? <laughs> Hey, did you change your mind? When I discover that you betray me, perhaps. I hear you took the bike for yourself, my employee of the month. Listen, man, me and Lamar was gonna get that back to you, dawg. Oh, I am sure. You will get this car off the daddy's boy, and then we talk. Insurance papers say they have a locked garage, so you'll need to gain access from inside the house. Man, it's never easy with you, is it, Simi? Do not talk to me about easy, you thief.
just because you have a massive gaper, bitch. Fucking homo, you're dead. Dead! He said I had a massive... Jimmy called me a bitch! You tried to knife attack me? No one creeps on the... Cut your dick off if you call the administrator. Hey, you know what? I am the administrator. Oh my god, seriously? My brother is such a homo. I think he has a medical problem. Like, more medical problems than the ones he's already been diagnosed with. I don't care if you're 12. I'll still rape you. I still love him, though. Sort of. Well, the other day, I walked in on him, and he was jerking off over pictures of my friends. You. <laughs> the hot ones, Lauren and Lisa. No, I didn't mean it like that. You're beautiful. Thank you, coach. You're a real pro, Mrs. DeSanta. A real pro. Well, you're a great student. Now just loosen up those hips. Okay, like this? Yeah, loosen them up. There you go. And follow through. Perfect. Oh, okay. I think I'm getting it. That's a nine millimeter semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Don't look around. Take me where you're going. Hey, come on, man. This was a repo job. God, I said drive. God was behind on this fucking note. Unlikely, considering my son just got the car. And looking at the way you're going about this, my guess, you're working a credit fraud. A credit fraud? Be serious, dude. I just worked the fucking repo. I appreciate a kid who follows orders without taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer. And I'll explain how the world really works. Who gives you the slip? A car dealer, dawg, by the name of Simeon Yateri. So this businessman, he look legit to you? Look, man, it's just between him and your fucking son. Don't worry. Me and Mr. Yatarian, we'll work this out. Hey, man, it's Jess up here. Okay. Stop the car. Pull up. That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Whoa. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. And fast. Or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man. Fuck it. Come on, kid. Oh, shit! Franklin! What the fuck are you doing? Mr. Sammy, it's not exactly how it looks. I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. You motherfucker! See now, you've pissed me off. You'll pay for that window! Bottom feeder! Hey, you recognize this car? Huh? Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist! I'm Tyson. This thing's gonna need some serious body work before it's worth five grand a month. Ah, uh, <laughs> he agreed to financing. I have his signature. Yeah, did he agree to have some punk break into my fucking house? I, I don't know. I, uh, that kid might be a fucking idiot, but you are a fraudulent scumbag piece of shit. Oh. Don't make me have to come back here.
Man, I'll come by for that drink you offered, that's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? Uh, you're here, whatever. Sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. <laughs> okay. You call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. Look, I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years, and I got out alive. That makes me the right age. <clears throat> you look like a good kid. But if you want my advice, you give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt. Rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you can rip people off and get paid for it. It's called capitalism. Hmm. So what I saw the other day was like when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well, then today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? Nothing. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. Yeah, as much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that. I tell you what. <sighs> Least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. <sighs> it's not too far from here. Let's go. All right, man. I'm following you. <sighs> Let's take Amanda's car. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink. Dad! Where... Shit! I mean, our boat going down the Western Highway. It's... it's been stolen. What? The yacht's been stolen? I, I was trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it. They just want to take it. I'm hiding in the head. You're insane. All right, I'm coming. For my boat. All righty, then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. Hey, I'll help you out. Lesson number one, don't ever have kids. Hey, man, look, if I had kids, I don't think no parenting issues would arise over who had boat privileges and who don't. Shit, motherfuckers would be lucky to sit in a bathtub. Shit, things that desperate, huh? Nah, but, you know, shit, I was making a point. Mythologizing self-deprecation. I know it well. Yeah, man, but shit, where the boat at? Little shit's been hijacked. They're somewhere on the Western Highway. Man, ain't you worried? About my boat? Yeah, I am. But you can always buy another boat. Yeah, tell my accountant that. Man, you can always get credit for one. Oh, you don't see me driving? What, have you come repo it? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, homie. I ain't your homie. I'm someone you want to impress. Really? Man, I thought you was retired. Why the fuck do I want to impress some slipper-wearing motherfucker? Because I can still teach you a thing or two. Maybe help you open the door to all the joys that boat-related parenting issues entail. So I'm gonna help you get this boat back, right? That you are, my friend. in a fucking hurry, man. Yeah, well, we'll catch him. Hey, what we about to do? I'm gonna get you close, and you're gonna go board that thing. All right, man, shit. Fuck it, let's do this. All right, I got a piece in the glove box. They give you shit, I'll take them out. All oh, that's cool, man. You shoot with one hand and drive with the other. But my motherfucking concern is, I might miss the jump and fall in fucking traffic. Oh, fuck this! Yay! Not my boat, man! Come on! Fuck 
kid. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Get rid of his ass. What the fuck? fuck? Hey, there ain't room up there for the both of you. Get off of him. Hey, stop throwing assholes at me. He's a useless little shit, but he's my useless little shit. Hey, ain't you covering me? Hey, shoot this motherfucker in the face already! Fuck! Okay, now go find Jimmy. Dad? Wait, you're the guy from the dealership. Yep, and it's a long story, bro. Jimmy! <gasps> Kid, watch out for the boom! Fuck! Hold on! Help! 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 Fuck! Ah. Get under him, man! Let him drop the floor! Ah, this is gonna kill me! Ah. Sit tight! I'll get under, I'll get under right you! Now. I'll get under you as soon as I, I can! I can't do this anymore! I just look over fall on my ass, bro, man! I'm slipping! This is it! The fuck is wrong with you, kid? Dad! Don't dad me, you little shit! You better hope she's still seaworthy! Ah! Too close! Hey! Get me off this damn thing! Hey, close, man! Close! Hey, get right up the back of that shit! Remind me not to come to you for parenting and advice! All of fucking board, let's stop this ship from sailing. Ooh, now that doesn't sound good. Damn, that's the engine, man. We ain't chasing shit in this thing. Don't you die on me yet. Ah, my fucking boat. Hey, it's just a thing. At least you still got a son. Hey, it's a chop shop back there, dog. You drivers there, we can get the ride fixed. My boat. It's just a thing. My boat. Please stop doing that. Listen, I, I fucked up, okay? I I'm not going to lie. That was a really bad judgment call. But shit, Dad, I nearly died. And all you give a shit about is this fucking boat. No, it's not that. It's all we do is scream at each other. No wonder I can't get a job. It's all your fucking fault. Or it's not, but it's partly your fault. I... I mean, I just want to impress you. By selling my boat to some gangbangers? I know it sounds dumb when you put it like that, but all you do is daydream or get angry. Look, I love you, Jimmy, but you're an asshole. And right now, with my boat disappearing over the horizon, that's all I can see. Franklin, would you do me a favor and give this kid a ride home after they fix this thing? I want to headbutt the road in peace. Oh, great. Leave me with the home invader. I'll get it done, dog. No problem. Dad! Enough! All right? Enough! Hey, Franklin, can you call me a cab? No problem. Hey, I need a cab as soon as you can send one. Los Santos Customs, by the airport. All right, thanks. Thank you. Hey, so you uh do much yachting? Not anymore. No, I don't. Before, I mean, man. No, no not really. This little shit stays in his room all day, and I don't have any other people to go with, you know? I like looking at it. Looking? Yeah. You know, I'd come down to the marina, sit on the dock, pour myself a drink, and look at her. Jacqueline. It'd clear my head, you know, let me dream. Jacqueline, huh? Well, maybe you need to do some other shit to fill your time. Dream other dreams, man. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Hey, this the place up here. I know this dude, man. His name How. He gonna look after him. All right, take what's in my pocket. A couple thousand bucks. That'll cover it, right? Yeah, it should be cool. Good. So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got this. All right. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna come up front. Get out and walk around. It's okay. I can just climb over. Look, man, I'm gonna get the ride fixed, man. They dropped it back off at your house along with this dude. 
Right. It's all good, though, man. You go and get your head right, all right? All right. Listen, thanks for today. I appreciate it. You stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Uh, you see? Show, sure, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's trick this whip, homie. Come on, man. Let's get in there. Still need to get you out for one of the races, Franklin. See if you drive as fast as you talk. There, Reconditioned. Like you Sweet. Dude, what's happening? I'm gonna take you home now. It's Franklin, right? Yeah, Franklin. All the credit for our guy. The home invader. You know what? Call me what you like, man. Yeah, I, I, no, I, I mean, sure. Jimmy, ain't it? Or James? Jimmy. Or just like, Jizzle? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'll just stick with Jimmy, homie. So, uh, what's the deal, man? Huh? You and my old man? I see. Hey, Shit. you don't see me driving here? I see you at the dealership, then someone steals my whip, and Pop is all like, he's been down there to talk to you guys. Your Pops did more than talk. What'd he do? Look, man, if he ain't tell you, I ain't gonna tell you. But I lost my fucking job, and I thought maybe he could help me find a new one. Dude, my dad is retired. Like, fully? Like, his only marketable skills are watching TV and daytime drinking. <sighs> man, look, I don't know, homie. He seems okay to me. Shit, he saved your ass. You saved my ass. Nah, nah, man. Well, well, maybe we good together, you know? Like, maybe we can get shit done we couldn't do separate. If it keeps him out of the house, that's cool by me. <sighs> yeah, well, we'll see. Look, I'm sorry my dad lost to your job. It's hard out there. Tough. I mean, I'm employmentally challenged at the moment. Oh, you got fired, dude. Damn, that's rough. Not fired as such. I, I didn't get a job. I've been there, homie. You've been putting them resumes out there, but no one's hiring, huh? No, I, uh, I didn't get a job. I've never had a job. It feels like hard work. Life, the days just kind of disappear. Hey, you play right to slaughter? No, nah, not since the first couple. Okay. Yo, so like, since we're both unemployed, like, we could run together, you know? Yeah, I think about it, homie. Or, or we could just like, shop it, you know? Play darts or get our drink on? Strip clubs? Come on, dude, I get real crazy. Yeah, I got your number, shit, I need it, man, but uh... Hey, hey you know what? Man, go easy on your pops, dog. all right? All right, church. <laughs> exactly, man. My brother from another mother. I mean... I, I hope so, because my mom was kind of a skank back in the day. See ya. Yeah, whatever, homie. Peace. But you know what? It's getting to be a bit much. I have no idea how you cope. Of course I cope. I'm a woman. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> but girl, I done done all that I can do. But you know how boys are. Wait a minute. Oh, girl. Whew. Hey, how much further? We ain't even gone five yards yet. Okay. I know. I'm just asking. This is spirit walking. Exercises body and soul. It's all the rage. 
We are women and we are free. Free and independent patriarchy. We are women. Here we are free. We are women. Here I'm shouting. We are women. Here I'm shouting. We are women. Damn. F, is that your auntie? Yeah, thank God I missed her crazy ass. She's spirit walking this shit now, man. That's just her attempts to. Hey, hey, don't be talking shit about your auntie, man. She got. I mean, she cool as a motherfucker, man. Come on. Come with. We gotta go pick up some shit from around the corner, man. We can walk and talk at the same time, my nigga. Why the fuck we can't drive? Around the block with Chop? You need to walk with your fat ass. <sighs> yeah, okay, you tall, linky son of a bitch. Come on, homie, we ain't got all day. Let's go. For sure, but what you got up? Kidnapping, fool. That clown D. That OG fool from Ballers. Dog, I told you, no more game banging retro vengeance bullshit. I'm trying to make some fucking paper. You gonna make some paper, low? And ain't nobody out here gang banging. It just look like that. You gotta know the difference, man. Fuck, man, great. My aunt would be very happy, homie. She wants me dead anyway, so she can get the fucking house. I told you to quit talking shit about your auntie loco. That's my bitch. I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. You got the wheel, homie. Get in the van, Chop. Get in the van. Good dog. Go up Vinewood Boulevard. Hey, I like your dog, homie. Me and Chop got a lot in common. Your annoying ass. Man, I'm carrying both of y'all asses, homie. Look what I set up. Man, fuck this, man. You seen Tanisha? She's straight. It's me and you that ain't straight, though, homie. Dog, I know, homie. But look, I met this contact, this white dude. Real serious dude, man. This motherfucker know the streets, homie. I know he'll be a good hookup for us. We don't need no hookup, fool. I know these streets. You know these streets. Man, all you know is dime bag hustling, credit card stealing, boosting gas tankers, homie. Come on, man. What you trying to be some fucking commodity trader or something? Fool, that shit went up, man. Look, homie, I don't mind dying, you feel me? But I just want to die for something that matters, homie. That's what foreign gangsters should really be about. And I know this much, the motherfucking OGs ain't even giving a fuck about us. So, man, fuck the OGs then. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no motherfucking pyramid scheme. No, wait, hold on. Listen to your boy one time. Listen to your boy. You want some paper, my nigga? This is what it's about. Check it out. I'm talking about 40,000. No problem. Cash in hand, two days time, no killing, nothing. No, just starting another beef with the fucking ballers, nigga. That's class A felony bullshit. We gonna keep our disguise on. Ain't nobody gotta know it was us. <laughs> yeah, whatever, homie. We'll see about that. She's a beauty. Chop a free spirit. He bark all he like. I've been told he up in the alley. Hey, what's up, boo? Ain't you little Laida's cousin? Yeah. Damn, you short with it. I was just saying, I was trying to and holler at you. You ain't hollering at nothing over here. Why has it gotta be like that? I'm an OG. And OG, so what? So the fuck what, nigga? It's a million OG. Well, over shit, here. how about I put one of these little X pills up your ass crack? Next thing you know, you're gonna be begging for it, boo-boo. That's boo -boo. disgusting. What's happening now, D-Man? Ain't no fun if the gangsters can't have none. Man, fuck you, Mark. I ain't sharing no ass to CGS. Ain't nobody sharing nothing! Man, shut the hell up, fuck bitch! Fuck you, nigga! Man, fuck y'all! Hey, ain't there a law against you Mark-ass gangsters insignia mask-wearing motherfuckers? Oh, so what's up now, nigga? You snitching or something, oh, nigga? Oh, shit! Bitch ass nigga! Fuck you, nigga! I'm out of here! Fuck y'all, bitch! That, nigga. Come on, let's go! In a van, we gotta go! He on a bike, man! We ain't gonna catch him! Just drive, fool! Hold on, Chop! That's 40 G's getting the way right there! You seen that bitch back there? She a dime! I'm all over that! And she probably the same, like I said, they flock! Flock your mind on this shit right here for a minute! You worse than Chop! Give me a break, guy! Man, if he gone, because you ain't in the zone with that special driver's shit you do, I'm going to be real upset, homie. 
This nigga's a punk, homie, and he making you look like one, too. I don't know why you think that's gonna motivate me. Nigga, cuz it don't. Nigga. Child, we going after the motherfucker in the car, all right? All these punk-ass bucks. Give it up! If we snatching this dude, we snatching his ass right. Remember the homies around the block? Man, the homies is lame. Yeah, so we not. Cops on their cell phone as soon as they made the ransom call. What the oh, fuck, shit. Dude? Damn. He got fucked up. Man, take time. Go get that fool. Nigga, you just sitting your ass still with your feet kicked up. Come on, Chop. Come on. Go bite his ass. Get that motherfucker, Chop. Get him. You gonna pay for this? Ah. Uh. You CGL shot for real. Uh. We just wanna get paid, man. Give it up. There ain't no rabies shots where we taking you to. It's like sprint training. You got this, homie. Oh, fuck. Come on, boy. Find that fool. Sniff him out, Chop Chop. Lead me to him. He hiding in that train, boy. Stop running, dog. Why ain't Lamar searching this shit? You smell that motherfucker, boy? Your ass caught. Shit, this motherfucker empty. You a mean motherfucker, man. Let's go. Where you at, chop? Where you at? We in this together, Chop. Let's go. Go, boy. Where that OG at? Come on. Smell that stinky motherfucker. You in here? You scared of dogs, nigga? Oh, shit! Fuck you and your stupid dog. Don't hump him. Bite his ass, Chop. Get his ass. Get off the oh, fuck up, you son of a bitch. That bitch just fucking bit me, man. Shut the fuck up. Hey, man, get over here. Oh, shit. What the fuck, man? I ain't got no beef with the CTF. Because maybe we doing our own thing. What the fuck, what the man? Fuck the fan, punk? Shit. Hey, Lamar Davis, is that you, nigga? Nigga, shut the fuck up. Just get in. Yeah, that's you, nigga. Fucking oh, idiot. Shit. I said I had no beef, man. Shut the hey, fuck up. Hey, man, what the fuck? Watch you, boy. Get this fucking dog Get away from me. Come on. Fuck. Hey, if you don't train Chop, he gonna be a lost cause like you, dog. We gonna stash this dude in my spot. You slipping, fool. We going back to your crib? I've been there when you was in diapers. Shut up, man. You ain't recognize me. I knew it was you before you took that flag off. You always been dumb, Lamar. Really? Well, I guess that means we gonna have to shoot your ass when we pick up our 40 stacks. You ain't gonna pick up shit. Fans gonna be on you before you can even move, nigga. Be quiet. I gotta make a call. Keep your eyes on the road. We got your boy. You calling him on a cell phone, you dumb motherfucker? 
They gonna trace this shit in a sec. We want 40,000. Just pay me or pay the funeral director, motherfucker. What the fuck you done done? You just gave them our location. Now we gotta let this motherfucker out of here. Get the fuck out of here. And nigga, give me that damn phone. What the fuck? Fuck y'all! I'll be seeing y'all soon! The only reason you been seeing shit cause we been easy on your ass. Remember that, dawg? Dumb bitches! This some bullshit. Take me down the cut. <laughs> Man, what the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? I was getting us paid. What the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? That was a good phone. A good phone? The cops was all over, nigga. I could have swallowed my card, tried to triangulate that. It's too late. Shit's done. At least I saved you the indignity of pulling apart your shit. Nigga, I ain't afraid to get my hands dirty, old precious motherfucker. This is what I mean, homie. We need to get serious. Get paid. This shit ain't working. So your old white dude gonna fix us. We in my first class. Look, I'm gonna learn some skills, man. Pass them on. There's a whole city out there. It's waiting to be taken, nigga. You just give me the heads up when you over that shit. Ready to wipe old dude nut off your face, old lame-ass Mark. Man, fuck you, Lamar. All right, motherfucker. You the motherfucker. You better watch out for them ballers. They gonna be on you now. The cops gonna be on your ass, too. Yeah, I ain't worried about it. I'm a motherfucking gangster. You know how I do. I can take care of my sizzle. No, the fuck you kids ain't. Hey, man. Tracy. Yo! Amanda! Amanda! You better not be! Not in my house! Fuck you, Michael! Go away! I'm paying that turd 150 bucks an hour to fuck my wife? In my own bed? Michael, go away! Oh, no, I'm sorry, bro. She said you had an arrangement. You and I are gonna have an arrangement. I'm gonna arrange your fucking funeral. I'm really sorry, bro. I'll cop the session. I promise. You are dead, man. Uh, Fuck. Dead! Uh, Come here! Uh, uh, hey, you! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked the brick in my bed. You bullshitting. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just go kill him! This truck yours? Guys, do some work for me. He'll get it back. Might have a dead body to do it, but he'll get it back. Oh, so we killing this dude? He'll wish he was dead. Dude almost got away, man. Shit, dog shit, shit in another dog's kennel. Exactly. People been shitting in my kennel for too long. He went left up here, dog. There's that little prick. The fuck is he? Bushy, be your boss, fucking hippie cock! Fuck, man, I think we lost his head. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. This track here. Hey, you know one of these fucking houses. Yeah, keep your eye out. That's his car, right there. Little bricks up there. Look. Oh shit, Coach doing all right for himself. Hey, asshole! He ran off before we could settle our debt. Michael, what? You got the wrong idea, man. Hey, think the world owes him a living. There's a winch. 
in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comp the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand! Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand! On your face! Bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like when someone fucks with your shit! Well, hey! Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa. Fuck! Here we go! Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's see what happens! Dude, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! You see this shit, dog? Oh, hell yeah, homie! You know what time it is! Yeah, he gonna feel this one, dog. Man, I think that shit's coming down, man. Push the pedal, homie. Are you fucking serious, nigga? Ha! Fucking A. Let's see how he like that. Whoa, man. Fuck. Fuck him! And yeah, fuck his deck! Hey, homie, I think you put a little more than a deck down. That's a foolish man who builds his house on sand, baby. Hey, man, I don't think my boy Matthew was thinking truck when he wrote that shit. Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone. You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. Yeah. Hey, man, that's some mean-looking motherfucking essays right behind you. Are you kidding me? Kid, can you do something? I'll try, man. Try. Come on, kid. We got a book, man. Go. How much distance we got between us? If these are Mark Madrasso's boy, man, it's a lot more where they came from. Can you see them? Are they still back there? Fuck, man, these assholes are me! All right, we managed to lose them? Hey, let's go, let's leave them behind. Push the pedal, man, we gotta move. We got a book, man, go! Hey, let's go, let's leave them behind. I think you slipped, man. All right, let's go back home. Wow, shit, you did good. I mean, your aim's all over the place, but you were a help. Uh, thanks, I guess. Hey, don't get defensive. Go to a shooting range, work on your aim. You'll do fine. Oh, fuck, man, shit, you good? Fine as wine, got a few knots. You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Man, I'm cool, man. I mean, you, mentally. Mentally? Oh, man, I'm fucking excellent. My heart ain't bumped like that in years. Oh, yes, fucking A, Bubba. Man, you sound kind of man. You just been greenlit by the Mexican underworld ambassador to Los Santos. Trust me, we handled it. Whoever the fuck Martin Madrazo is, I've known worse. We just handled a few low-ranking crimes. We sit on it, we see what happens. Kid, there's no use second-guessing. Felt good, man. Woo! Yeah, doing something for a change.
Man, you know what? You are wasted sitting by that fucking pool, man. You're right. I need to do something. Scotch and sunshine is sitting on my ass. Fuck that. I'm better than that. Damn skippy, homie. All that knowledge up there is withering and dying, dawg. You don't pass that shit on, it's gone, homie. I bet you know some shit. You wouldn't believe the shit I know. Yeah? You taking some score? There was a time, that was all I did. Shit, well, you no, know, I could tell you some shit, too. Yeah, like what? About the city I was born and raised in. Now think about it. Yeah, do that, man. This could be cool. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside? Sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. You know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Are you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. No. Franklin. Maybe hell, Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a label of the background. Man, Mr. Madrazo. Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, I've got a question for you. Uh, what did you put an architect, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hill? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I wasn't thinking straight. Clearly. Yeah. <sighs> well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuilds. One shit. Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range. Of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Uh, Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, Noah. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon.
Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. Then you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something. So why not help each other? I got to make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone that instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> since you put it like that. Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this, uh... Fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something, just like the old days. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Goodbye. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you wanna run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you looked the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine.
Hey. Hey. Oh, great. Ugh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks about up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boys vest. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Really? The brief was for a relaxed, creative individual, the kind that preferred a beanbag over a real chair, but if you're so bound to social restraints... No, 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 I'm not restrained at all. I'll... I'll, I'll take a seat. Mm. See? Mm. You're relaxed already. Let the creative juices flow. Kaboom! You just got pwned, my friend. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been added on this PC. Ah, uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. This place is fueled by Java, bro. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Might I tempt you with some organic chow or a fair trade java? See, I don't have the manual on me. My glitch fixing is gonna be way down today. Rocking out might get you in the right headspace. There it goes. You wanna take a break for some air guitar? Give me the wink, bro. Almost cracked it. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. This is the future of American economy? Jay thinks being a quirky douche boosts creativity. <laughs> He's this close to installing a ball pit. That's a meme right there. Dude, when it blue screens again, you're my guy. Bye. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Ow! Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk! There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it! If I drown in mucus, it's your fault, you illiterate effing seas! Hold on, I'll buzz you out.
Michael. Hold on, hold on. Down! They down you! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. Now, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, uh, whatever you say. Enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. guy in America. You all disgust me! America loves you. You are in the final. Recorded live from the Vinewood Bowl. Who will win it all? Who will humiliate? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we're about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24 seven. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into Life Invader friendly information. Hold on a Fuck second. You. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Oh! Ah. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, 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 no. Whoa! That was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. 
You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. What's your linear entertainment? Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole! I can't believe you did that! That's my TV! You don't talk to me like that! I can't believe you... Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole! Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah! No! I just... Want you to do something besides sit there eating? Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah, uh, bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. <sighs> Fuck me. We'll take a bike ride along Vespucci Beach, and I'll show you just what you want to see. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh! You well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. I'm going gray listening to this crap. Station change. Fuck yeah, I'm a jam. Nice try. Tyrant. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-faced? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me, but I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last 10 years. But that was an extreme fucking situation. And I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I had to. To protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes.
Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Hey, you! Two bikes. Take your pick. This one will do. If I beat you to the end of the pier, you're buying me a new TV! Into the pier? All right. But if I beat you, you're gonna behave like a human being! Ah. Looks like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford, so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Dad, come on now. Come on, sweetheart. Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you got a killer pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, hey, Daddy. cool, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, oh, hey! Oh, oh, man! I like What's them! What's the problem? You're such a oh. jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass! These guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I! Talk to the scene of my fucking boat! Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! OMG! They're coming! Go into that outlet! All right, all right! We're 
lose them if we keep going this way. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. Well, since when did TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad, it's Los Santos. Go, go, keep going. How is camping us going to solve anything? Come on, let us go. Back off, assholes! Back up, you pricks! You're a danger to yourself and others! Looks like this is the way out! Hey, turd buckets! If you kill us, you'll be jailed and the sea shark will be impounded! Come on, let us go! Back off, assholes! Fuck, 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 I think we lost them. Oh, I'm going to die! You see? They're gone. It's okay. I'll take you back to your brother. Okay, it's terrible. I can't believe you did that to me. Whoa, whoa, chill out, babe. Now, what did you say? Yeah, no, no, no worries. It was a pleasure. I bet it was a pleasure. You're only pleased when you're being shot at. No, I meant you don't have to thank me for saving your life from those maniacs. You didn't say that. You ruined it. Asshole, okay? He smashed my TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. Coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. Someone's on the rag. Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do's your business, bro. Anyway. Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work. And I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I just... I've been caught up in the bullshit, Doc. 
You know, ever since I pulled this Mexican's house off a hill, it's been nothing but killing and robbing. And I hooked up with this old associate. I even got a new one, too, this kid. With, I don't know, he's got similar proclivities. You know? Oh, God. Now everything's out of control, I mean, but it's not by choice. You know, I just, my life just got away from me. That sounds a lot like denial, Michael. This is really worrying. So, any other violent urges, friend? Yeah, I mean, I've had good days, Doc, but mostly they've just been really bad days. I've been doing really bad things. You know, hurting people. It's... You're a very sick man, Michael. I'm doing all I can, but we need more sessions. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? Who exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich, I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me, the other half my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Wait a minute, that's the shot. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. Th this, I think, no, no, I know. I'm just terrified that I'm, I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. <sighs> See you next time. Okay. I don't want to know. Franklin! What the fuck? <clears throat> I mean, what the hell going on here? Wait a minute. Franklin, what are you doing here? I live here. This half my house, too. So you say? Anyway, magenta is reinvigorating my femininity. So make yourself scarce, boy. Go. Go. With pleasure. Go. Goodness. And stay out of trouble! Yeah, yeah. Oh, Bitch, you ain't no more of a man than me. I hear that. Gangsta shit, nigga! Look who's bizarre. What's, What's up, fool? With it, man? Oh, <laughs> no, no. Show some respect here, nigga. That man, they couldn't hold down his back. Come on now. Damn, man. I got to spend my day with another middle-aged fool trying to recapture his youth. What this fool just say? I missed you, dawg. Oh, oh. You missed me, huh? No, nah, I ain't missed you. Your ass could have stayed gone for good. So I fucked your girl, mm -hmm. mugged your mom, mm -hmm. and better yet, I ain't thought about your ass in years. Ha, ha. You got jokes now, huh? Hey, but I see you doing well for yourself. Check that on out. Shit, I'm doing just fine. That's what I hear. 
but I know some sweet boys up in the pen that got bigger balls than you. Oh, you been doing your time looking at sweet boy balls? Oh. Yeah, it's good to have confirmation. This funny fuck. Why you keep hanging around this clown, L? Shake this fool, we man. We from the same set, Stretch. Why, why y'all niggas can't get along? Y'all been doing this shit for years, man. You know what, dawg? It's good you back home. Glad you here. Missed you, boy. Damn, you definitely got hit up inside. Hit up? Hey, hey. Yo, motherfucker, I know little niggas like you been turned out on the daily. Talking about being hit up, nigga, I swear, man. You ain't got no motherfucking respect. Motherfucker, I got respect for reality. Reality? All right. All right, you keep thinking that. Just keep thinking that, nigga. Shit, you gonna get yours. Fuck you. Oh, I swear, man. Strizzettes, come whoa, on, whoa, man. Whoa, cool out. Fuck, Chill, man. man. This motherfucker get on my goddamn nerves. The nigga get on my nerves, too, man. But part of the nigga charm, man. F, come on, man. Let's just bust a move, man. You gonna drive or what, pimp? Drive where? Pick up this heat, nigga. Why? Business, nigga. Real business. Come on, y'all niggas act like girls. Shit, not me. Shit. Let's go to the gun store. Shit, homie, you gonna drop all that bread on that gear? You might as well get a haircut too. Fucking crazy-haired microphone, motherfucker. I got a microphone I can shove right in your prison pocket, nigga. You walk like you keister and shit anyway. You know, when I went away, you punks was little homies, and I was a big homie. Now I'm out, and you little homies is big homies. But you still gotta respect. Man, what the fuck this nigga talking about? We all big homies, but he bigger, right? Exactly. Man, that's some fucking pyramid scheme bullshit. Pyramids is good, man. Illuminati Pharaoh shit. As soon as we get this shit, as soon as we get paid, homie. As soon as we get incarcerated, more likely. Armorer to the stars. Hey, what's up, man? Firing range is in the back, and all our weapons are customizable. Oh, hell yeah. You can trick your blam blam out up in here. Quit all that. Just straight up artillery, man, all right? Don't y'all shut the fuck up. I got this, you clowns. All right, homie, get your shotgun with the flashlight modification. Oh, choosy-ass only child motherfucker. <clears throat> now just let me reinstate, man, that the purchases made by this man ain't got nothing to do with the two gentlemen of fella nature. That's right. Yeah. Now let's go bust on some niggas. Man, we got some recycling to do. Come on, man. Send her off friends in La Puerta. Check that shit. You got some cans or some shit I don't know about? Nah, homie. We got ourselves a drug deal. Why do I get the feeling it's gonna be one of them deals gone wrong type situations? Now, see, that's that negative attitude Lamar was telling me about, nigga. You ain't getting nowhere thinking like that. The power of positive bullshit. You ought to be clenching your motherfucking vagina muscles with my aunt, nigga. After his bid, it probably need tightening up. This ain't new age shit. It's fact. You get what you get, fool. You been getting dick, but you ain't giving it, huh? Some Mark talk like that to an OG? <laughs> CGF has changed, man. No wonder the hood is so lame right now. Speaking of change, Lamar's been meaning to talk to you, homie. Nah, nah, not now, homie. What's happening? It's nothing, my nigga, nothing, you know. Just some ideas, that's all. Man, ideas ain't your strong suit, so put it on me. It's nothing real, homie. When it's something real, we'll talk. Bullshit, man. It's realer than this crap. All right, homie, we meeting in here. Man, how'd you find this place? The homie set it up. It's the kind of spot where we ain't gonna be disturbed. That's what the fuck worries me. I'm more of a hide in the plain sight type of nigga. No, you more of a punk bitch type nigga.
<laughs> what up, fool? What up, we it? got that shit, nigga, with a paper hat. Nigga, I'm talking about Buku Bill. More Davis. <laughs> What's up, boy? Everything cool? Hold yeah. on, man. What the fuck, man? You was just kidnapping this nigga. Oh, oh come, come on, on dog. You don't real F recognize real. D, my nigga, just got out crossing lines, did some time with some of your folks. Hey, look, look, look. This ain't about you, man. What? You know these niggas dumb. Yo, what the fuck up. this trick talking about, man? Yeah, What's yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody see, see? On us? They put a nigga on TV, man, about some gang intervention shit. Hey, this ain't the police, dog. This some ballers bullshit. Nigga, that's some bullshit. Fuck you. What's up with hey, we've been set up, nigga. This shit fuck, fuck, fuck you, fuck nigga. Fuck you, shit. Oh, bitch ass ballers. Come on, shit, through here. Bitch. Uh. Uh. Got one of us. Uh. Uh. Come on, boys. Find cover. Inside, nigga. Fucking D oh, set us up. Fuck. I said lay low after you got crushed. You lay low, motherfucker, that ain't me. I can see that. This is fucked. Fuck you. Man, somebody got to get this last motherfucker. Now that you popped that little pump, we really fucked. Man, you shouldn't have put me in the room with that snitch. Cover me, homie. I'm going to hit this. Fuck. Man, pop me and get it over with. You going first next time, no fool. Shit, nigga, then we all be dead. Not me, nigga. Yo, homie, dead. You ain't creeping on us. Man, bullshit. Never trust the parlor, homie. Never trust you is the lesson I'm taking away from this shit. Man, I don't want your clumsy ass falling down these stairs, fool. They was a safety hazard before blood got spilled all over the place. Listen, we good, homie. We gotta cool this shit off. Charlie 4 is airborne and headed to the scene. You jack, motherfucker. Get your bitch ass out. Move, move, move! move, move. Man, what the fuck? Man, you got beat with an ugly stick. Man, leave us be, motherfuckers. Man, I don't get the cop mentality. Who gave this fool a license? You gonna lose him or what? Keep them rollers off us. Thank you. 
Nothing righteous about this shit. Acting like big dog. What the cops care about us getting away? Catching this. <laughs> That's it. That's it. We lost him. Now take us somewhere where we can get it in, homie. Oh man, we going back to my crib, man, and you can walk from there. Hey, what the hell you walked me into back there? Shit, man, you the one popped his ass. I did the necessary. Yeah, thank you for that, dawg. This all on you, LD, lanky dumbass. Me? Hey, I ain't know the fools was gonna roll on us. If you started something with the ballers, shit, I don't care if you CGF for life, man. You done. Done, you dig? Actually, we ain't CGF for life, because all that means is we giving you money for nothing. We got our own shit now, homie, foreign gangsters. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, he don't mean that, Lo. F just talking outside his neck. I'm gonna reach cross lines, all right? Conversate with the purple homies. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, man. Smart shit. But if I gotta hang you assholes out for this, the gang comes first. Oh, it ain't gonna come to that, homie. You all diplomatic and shit. Yeah, he a real fucking diplomat, ain't he? This that peace-talking motherfucker we should've sent to the Middle East. Fuck. No wonder I wanna get out of here. No one's stopping you, little homie. Here we are, man. You gonna hang with your auntie while the men break it off. Shut the fuck up. Hell no, nah, nigga. You sounding more and more like a snee-eye yitch every day. Hell nah, yeah. nigga, I sound like somebody trying to make some paper and not get killed. He's a hook-ass nigga, I told nigga, you. Nigga, go toss a salad, stretch mark-ass bitch. Fucking buster. <sighs> Oh, you don't have to call to tell me that. Not you. The Dieter Sachs store detective. There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. Yeah, but see, if I help you out, you're never gonna learn. Screw you, Michael! The lawyer's fees are coming out of your account. this place garment factory I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes okay listen what do you got the Holy Grail the Union Depository and they say it cannot be hit hasn't been yet look I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house I don't need to go crazy here which Mexican Martin Madrazo He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're going to need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? Uh, I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. Little Portola. Your FIB 
buddies. They uh, know you're back in business. FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Well, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and... Excuse me! And washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and then withdrawals, the same sum every month. Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Town. Yeah, 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 all right. Lest, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. But take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Here we are. You reading me? Mm-hmm. Okay, we need shots of the security features, the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. We don't need to scope out the street. Go inside. Sir, thank you. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, on the wall by the side door. Glasses are live, shoot away. I can't see anything helpful. Ah, okay, that's their alarm. Can you get me an air vent in one of the cameras? Great, you got the security camera and the ventilation in that shot. Good work, now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap, thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know, I don't wanna to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8, our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm going to take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. OK. Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me. Have a wonderful day. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. Drive around the block and look for a way up to the roof. Look, there, some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. So, you keep up with the old crew? Well, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. I kept tabs on him for a while. Needed to, uh, know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD, shootout, maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway. They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands.
I'm on the roof. All right, use the glasses to get me a shot of Angelico's roof unit. It'll be right above the store. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told them to start setting up the information. So, what did you see? Nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes to rub his nose in it. Uh, good. The alarm system is linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Mm. Glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof. Means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open, then? Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. <laughs> Workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Uh, well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't wanna leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options, showing you all the angles, that's my area of professional expertise but making decisions that is your domain my friend here now, there's two ways i see of doing this we go in smart or we go in loud and dumb remember the vents if we're gonna be smart we pump a little knockout gas through the air system then hit the cabinets while everyone's out you'll have to source the gas of course but crowd control won't slow you down and that might improve the take the cover is pest control so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks it means getting a pest control van though you go in dumb and you'll need your uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles we can't buy them and risk them getting traced no 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 we've got to find some in circulation it's awkward it's a uh, <laughs> real awkward but this is the gun favored by LSP PD tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. 
The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Eddie Toe. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. Ah, Norm. Came across as a, you know, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. Hacker. Back office, but this is the person who will determine how long you get inside. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Let's take a chance on him. Yeah, if this is how you want to do it, I'll get moving. Great. Uh, I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Yes, huh? good, good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more. You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. What's up? Hey, man. It's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful, and the risk will be high, but you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you can put together your own deals, your own jobs. So. There's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. Franklin, what's the deal? Uh, he's, uh, kind of like a new personal assistant. Jimmy says he's a gangster, that he broke into the house. Yeah, Jimmy says a lot of things. Look, there was a misunderstanding. Jimmy's fault, by the way. Franklin's a good kid. I'm trying to help him out. It sounds shady. I don't like it. Well, luckily, I don't give a shit what you like. Private property, move along, please. Thank you very much. Everything I need to cause a plague of vermin. But just in case, from the top.
All right, Lester, we got a pest control van. Good. I've got a line on the knockout gas. It's made in some lab on the coast, but two shipments a day come through the city from the northeast, taking it to the airport. All right. I'll see if I can jump one. I guess. That's everything we need. I'll put out word that the score is ready to go. Now we all know why we're here. We've got a store to take. The plan is simple. Elegant. Listen to Lester. Pay attention to the information he gives you and we'll all make a buck. If things go bad, you know the drill. This wasn't organized. We don't know each other. We got caught up in a robbery and acted in self-defense. But it's not going to be an issue because everything's going to go just fine. The, um, the uh, alarm system is easy. Now, if I didn't need to be running things, I could have it offline myself. No problem, but uh, you should be able to get us a pretty decent window. How decent depends on the job you do. Now, uh, once it's down, you signal Michael. He makes the call. Things look good. We should be able to drop a present right through the air vent on the roof. Everybody goes to sleep, no problem. We take our time. If we run into trouble, we move quickly and with force. Any questions? No? Let's go. Frank, you're with me. Ricky, I hope you can manage the truck with the bikes. Eddie, Norm, you got the van. See you on Little Portolo, people. Initials only from here on out. Waiting on you, kid. All right, you got it down? I got it. Because you use too much gas on these guys, you'll kill them. Well, shit, don't blame me the way these canisters is mixed. Just be careful. <laughs> yeah, okay. Listen, I stuck my neck out for you here. Man, you don't need to tell me that shit. Hey, you gotta look out, dog. Tell me that shit again. I got faith in you, F, but you're unproven. Unproven? For real? So I didn't prove myself when I jumped off the back of that yacht on the highway, huh? Yeah, but these guys don't know you. They see some gangbanger with a happy trigger finger. They got money and their freedom on the line. I ain't gonna fuck this up, man. Good. I got enough shit to worry about. So you cut corners on the quality of the crew, huh? I allocated resources the way I saw fit, okay? How's that? The driver's capable. The others, not so much. So, that's like what? Gunman and hacker? Yeah, the getaway should be fine. But we gotta hope these two hold it together during the robbery. All right, this is it up there. There's a way through the site, up to the roof. Man, we went over this. I'm cool. You are the 
All right, when the gas is in the ventilation system, give us the word. For sure, man. I got it. Excuse me! Exterminator! Hey, there ain't no one around. That suits us. Come on, get up to the roof. Hey, shoot! Almost there. We're in position, waiting on your signal. Just gotta get where I can throw this. I got an angle. Damn, missed. That was it. They going out. Did you love her? Well, I, I love her a lot. I just, I wasn't thinking it was... Think about it like this. I mean, I always say that... I told them to fix that goddamn AC! What's going on? Let's go. Let's do this! Come on! I'm on it, I'm on it. for delicate work. Hey, can you get your shit together and stop dropping loot? This is a classy joint. You're good at this, M. Ten, um, nine? Yeah, baby, we got it all. Let's go, let's go. So for the last time, move it. Make it the fuck out my face. Oh, oh. We forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. I'll see you at the river. Go. It's go time! Stay close, stay safe, let's go! Hard left here, going onto the big road, Dorset and drive! Hey, keep moving! Go! when you're working with fools. Guy was a fool. We should be able to get into a tunnel just here. The tunnel splits. Both lead to the same place. Keep going through the mud. But you be able to handle it. I studied the route and I'm not an idiot. These are the best bikes for the terrain. Don't go down the tunnels here. Take a left. Go up by the escalators.
Don't worry, I got you. Hey, oh, fuck. Fuck. Hang in there, boys. I got bull bars on the truck. I'll make short work of these cops. Another cop car, keep going! This is totally screaming profile shot. You mind? Two bikes? What the hell happened? Man, do crap before he got in the tunnels. Ah shit! I should have paid for a better gunman! What happened to his part of the score? All right. Waiting on you, kid. Lester's waiting for us at the lockup. I was gonna be stuck to that bike. Yeah, I thought you were gonna be stuck under a cop car. There gotta be more dudes waiting around that way. We did not just get away with that shit, did we? You know what? I think we did. Ah, oh, man. Oh, yeah, we did it, baby. We did it. Woo! Ho oh, ho, one step closer to retirement. Holla! I think I found my new calling, bros. Come on, nothing to see here. Call your gym guy, Lesty Baby, cause we got merchandise! Alright, people. We need to split up. They're gonna be looking for a crew. I'll wire your cuts when the rocks have been sold. That shit was crazy, dog. So what now? We get out of here. Keep our heads down. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, look, everybody take off. Hey, Franklin. Listen, Lester and I got some things we gotta clean up. I want you to stop by the house a little later on. We'll celebrate, all right? All right. Okay. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. what I was looking for? Not then, not now, not ever. I know it ain't important. Just let me take you somewhere nice, all right? Where are you? Uh, are you in a strip club? Grow up, stop looking for the easy way. Tanisha, I gotta go, all right? Uh, I, I'm gonna change, I promise. You won't even recognize me. Oh, there you are. Hey. I feel like we haven't seen each other in forever. You want to have some dinner later? I'd love to, but, you know, yoga waits for no one. Another time. <sighs> oh, hey, there you are. What's cracking? So, we all good? Hell yeah, we all good. We did. Yeah, you fucking ain't right, we did. So, here's the shot. Lester's offloading the gems. He knows a guy. Get us 50 cents on the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, we might actually have a little spending money left after we pay off that psychotic Mexican motherfucker. Whew. Cheers. So that's that, right? I hope so. The whole job. Everything about it. Anyone who knows your file. What is wrong with you? Davey! Long time no see. And what about Trevor? If that fruitcake realizes, no, no, finds out you're alive, you are D-O-N-E fucked! Hey, don't worry about Trevor. Trevor's dead. It's gotta be. Besides, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Whatever the hell it is you're talking about. Huh? Really? The criminals are believed to escape with millions of dollars worth of gems, oh. precious stones, and hey. rings. Albert Story had a lucky escape when the thieves ran straight into it. Yeah, I was just doing my job, and I said to this guy, hey, you gotta move these bikes. I don't know anything about that. Uh, 
<laughs> you forget thousands of things every day. You'll make sure this is one of them. That was pretty scary. Back to you in the studio. You want to get lit now, sugar? Tre Trevor, baby, you want to you wanna smoke up now? Don't do it, Johnny. Don't do it. Trevor! You been with my girl again? I'm speaking with you, asshole. Don't do it, Johnny. I told him, Trevor. I told him. We all get high. We all get high. But that don't Leave make it, it right. Johnny. Leave it. The crystal has got us, babe, but that don't make it right. Don't make nothing right. Not what you've done with me. I'm telling Johnny, leave it. I ain't leaving nothing. Trevor, I'm talking to you, motherfucker. Are you? What are you saying? Fucking my girl, man. It's wrong. Oh, I gotta fuck someone. You want me to fuck you instead? I is that the problem here? Take off your pants, cowboy. All right, let's let's fuck. You think this is funny? Get them off! I told him to leave it, Trevor. I told him, leave it, leave it. Shut up, Ron. I'm about to fuck me a meth head, ain't I, cowboy? Get my boy sucked from his toothless gums, huh? Fuck you, Trevor. Oh. I still love her. All right, cowboy. Hey, I know. Hey, come on. Shh, I don't mean nothing by it, man. So I just... I know. I messed up. I know, cowboy. It's okay, man. Give me a hug, yeah. Shit! Cut! 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 Who the fuck are you speaking to? Who? Who? I'm talking to you, huh? You fuck! Johnny! Huh? Next time, don't get in my fucking face! I just saw a fucking ghost and I gotta hear your crap! Get up! Get up! Fuck you then! Johnny! Wait! <laughs> Fuck. The wheels are in motion. We gotta reach out to the rest of them. Wait, this ghost I saw, his name is Michael Townley. Sounds like he's living in Los Santos. Find him. Really? Uh, my cousin's there, but I don't... Find him, Wade! Does this mean I don't have to come see the bikers? We're in a hurry, but not that much of a hurry. But if we bury Johnny in the desert, and then quiet down that bitch Ashley you was in, then they don't need to find out about it. You think it's clever to disrespect women? Disrespect? What? I, I wasn't disrespecting. I was just saying we should kill her. You called her a bitch. Ain't you got a mother? Everyone got mothers, at least one. The bikers are meant to be over by the farm on the right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, you seen Ashley Johnny's looking for? Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I just did just 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I saw her on the end of this penis here. Now, Johnny ain't gonna be cool if you mess him with her again. Oh, really? Well, you don't think so, huh? Well, why don't we just ask him then, huh? Hey, hey, cowboy, you mind that I fucked your old lady? Sorry, what was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? Oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient part of you left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you very much, cowboy. Bullshit! Oh, I like it, denial. That is first part of the grieving process, brothers. Now let's all hold hands, huh? Oh, looks like you got something you want to say, huh? You got something you need to say? This better be bullshit. Oh, where are you guys going, huh? Let's go, ladies. If that van takes us back to the camp, this area ain't gonna have a biker problem much longer. Okay. The van's gotta pass, but the guys on bikes can go. Whoa! 
Did you see the look on their faces? We scared them, didn't we? Yeah, thank fuck they didn't make you for the harmless idiots you are. You need some feet belt back here, or straps or something. I only keep things in the back I don't mind losing. Oh. Down he fell. Terrified kill. Sharp left. Slow it down. Uh, I can't see us taking out all the bikers this Who makes a set? I work. Taking out all the bikers this go, boss. I mean, there'll be some by that airstrip, and some over, you know, by that... If not today, their time will soon be upon them. All righty, Root. Now we just sit on this guy till he gets to them. Ah. If we go off the side on the left there, we should make it across. Imbeciles wants to kill some bikers. Uh, I got that thing with the finding and, and the Los Santos and... You know I'm not that good with, uh... Oh, I guess it falls to me, then. Yes! I'll make my own lost MC colors out of this prick's leather. Yeah! Where are we going? Come on! We're right on these pricks. Oh. Come on, okay. come on. Ah. Oh, look, look, they're pulling up. You did it, Trevor. They're stopping. Hold the perimeter, fuckwits. Daddy's going to work. It's taken over! I'm wiping out my whole customer base.
Just step in! Anytime! Chuck, now! <sighs> Wade? What are you still doing here? You said... I said go find a fucking ghost in Los Santos, all right? You looking for motivation? Oh, yeah, pick me up some sticky bombs. Ortega lives near here. Let's go see him. It's one thing messing with tweaked out bikers, but the Aztecas? Man! The Aztecas. It's just a name. Is he Illuminati as well? And a wacky? Huh? One of those lizard people? I got this Chinese contact you can meet at the inn. He'll buy all the meth we can cook. Our enterprise ain't just about meth. It's about guns, too. The Aztecas control the guns, so we're taking them out. Soggy friend, you are out of business. The lost MC are out of business. The guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise, or they ain't going. Saying something don't make it true. No! You get the picture. We was always cool. Think about it. I'll go away, man, but my people. I think he gets it. They're gonna green light you after this. I don't like the way he's looking at me. I always let you operate. I didn't have to. You sure you want to do this? I thought you was crazy, man, not stupid. <gasps> oh, that feels better! You sure mean business, D. an unprecedented turn of events. I always said I was gonna take over. <laughs> People say all kinds of stuff when they're three days into a smoking party. You calling me a bullshitter, friend? Clearly not. No way. You're a man of your word, as evidenced by said events. If I say something is going to happen, it's going to. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but as soon as the moment is opportune. Understood. Yes, sir. If I say I'm fucking dead, then fucking dead I am! I'm not gonna raise my balding head on a beach in ten years' time saying, All is well! Is this about the ghost? Michael fucking Donnelly, yes it is! Oh, well, you told me about him. Your old running buddy. And who is the other one? Brad was the other one. He's locked up in a federal penitentiary. When he finds out Michael survived that job. Yeah. What do you think happened? If I knew what happened, I wouldn't be bemoaning these last ten years I've spent in ignorance. Some say ignorance is bliss. For a man with an interest, some may say obsession, with the secret truth kept hidden behind historical events, that's a really weird thing to say. I was trying to console you. I don't need consolation. I need answers from that fat chump. Get out of the car, Ron. I need time to think. Run!
speak! You know I don't like using these things. They're listening. Then make it quick. That business thing's been set up. The Chinese guy, Mr. Chang, is at the inn. You said that on the phone? What the fuck is wrong with you, damn it, Ron? Now I'm gonna have to discipline you and you know how I feel about that. You want something for me and I always give discount. Hell yeah. It's just the crazy, 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 Trevor, you're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. <laughs> He's one, ban him. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I Ooh. saved your husband. Now get me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay, but any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. <laughs> You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other! Mr. Tao Chung is uh, pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, yeah, he seems it. I'm out. No, don't go! Please! I beg you, if you go, his father kill me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't, but we hear that Trevor Phillips' corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out, we partner, make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing! Well, let me show you the operation. This is us. Just coming down to see the kitchen. You can't get here quick enough. The Aztecas are coming. They think you took out Ortega. They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out too. You sure your boss don't want this crank for his own personal consumption? No, no. Mr. Cheng Senior is very specific. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. I'm worried that might dilute what our operation's all about. We're part of the slow meth movement, bio-regional, locavores only. Mr. Chang Sr. has much money. Shit, Trevor, we ain't got long. Whoa, 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 whoa. manner, chef. These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. <laughs> Chang and his humble servant. Hey, Lao uh, Shung. <laughs> nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right. Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Go on now. Nice, right? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ample room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out. No. So bomb. Tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, chef. Help me. If I knew we were having visitors, I would have done a little spring clean. They really want you dead. Oh, shit! The bull was in a throw. Ah! Watch out! The Aztecas are as bad as the law. Professional. This ain't done until they're all gone! Shit, man! They're through the fence! We better get on this! Oh, shit! 
They're coming in on the left! They got the whole contingent here! Starting to think they really want to kill me. They got behind us. The back of the building. Get in some cover. Rude motherfuckers. Come over here, man. I got a better weapon for you. Report. I gotta let our potential business partners out of the ice chest. Yeah, all right, time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! I think we have seen quite enough. Uh, I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor. Are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! Okay. Trevor! What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K? And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. Look at this. This. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage? This fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chapped wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chap-wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, <laughs> Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45. Find him. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there or anyone matching his description, I'm going to kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. all right? That's better. Run along. Uh. <laughs> now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I got a swing by ammunition. Go to Sandy Shore's airfield, check it out. I'll come in your ear when I get a hold of you. Oh, what are you buying at the gun shop? I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high-power scope. They say they support local business. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries. Ammunition. 
Good, because you're about to make a corporate gift of a rifle, a high-powered scope, and a suppressor. Uh, take whatever you want, Trevor. I can't afford another fire. That sniper on your wall looks like it'll do the job. She'll do nicely. You got a scope and a suppressor for this? Okay, there's the scope. I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are. Did I get it wrong? I'm waiting at the water tower. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Up here! Go on up, boss. This is high enough for me. We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. Enough waiting. This is your moment, Ronald. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Here, by the road. You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? Standing under the control tower. Good kill, Trevor. Come on, keep it moving. Shit, I hear an engine. They're gonna see that guy you shot. Maybe if you shoot those lights on the tower, it won't be so obvious. It's so bright. Come on, man. There's one. And there's the other. Lights off! Good. Now don't smoke the guy in the van until he stops and gets out. Hold fire. We gotta see what he's up to. If the man wants to pay his respects, I ain't one to cut that short. Don't joke! He's right there! Rub him out! He's gonna f- You should have seen the look on his face! There's a guy coming out of the control tower. Take him out! Shit! He's gonna see us! Woo! Down he goes! Oh no! Bottom of the tower! Another guy's on his way. He's down there, amongst the bodies. Okay, I'll get to him. Clean shot, Trev. Another guy's coming out of the tower. He must be looking for the one you shot. He's gonna see us. He's seen it. Smoke him! We'll get the others! 
And they all came tumbling down. Can you get your sights back on me? Come on, man. Please, just cover me. You're in my crosshairs again. And there's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb. I'm on it, but there's a guy coming out of that building, I think. I can hear him. Someone's coming out the far door, man! There's a second guy! Coming out of the building! Good kill, Trevor! Mercy! I'm a-fixing it! Don't let him sneak up on me, okay? Chopper, just fucking drive! You're bikers! It's looking for us, T! We ain't gonna get them guns when they got tactical superiority! If I hit the chopper, everyone's gonna know we're here! Try and hit the pilot when he's settled! They might think he crashed! Might they? They might! Passenger? Watch out for the bikers! They're all over you! The guy who's taking receipt of these guns is in a boat just off the coast. Hey, there's a biker on your wing, Trevor. I am aware of this. Well, you gotta get him off. Do a roll or something. While the man on my wing presents no immediate danger, I'll do my best to oblige you. Oh, there he goes! Just off the coast. I feel safe. So, uh, who might this buyer be?
There's only two places this kind of hardware is gonna go. And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or other neighbors, those in the south, our Mexican brethren. I'd assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, because of where you used to operate. Weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure I was. There's a flare in the water. I'm guessing it's them. Affirmative. Make the drop. Port Sankudo coming up. If we fly low, we ain't gonna show up on military radar. Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. You wouldn't really do that to me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. Uh, I ain't a trained Air Force pilot like you. I can just about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether it's fast or slow. Then get better at it, or fly through a barn. Well, would a barn slow me down? Yeah, it might do. Or it might kill you instead. I'm just gonna fly normal, and I'll rely on you getting there quicker. You're braver than I thought. Keep low, over the swamp, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both.
You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite <laughs> Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 <laughs> the O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's going to have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! Uh, this music's all fucking wrong! You fuck you fuck you Trevor it's business that wide-eyed idiot was mine it's business fella you want to discuss it we're at the farm Ernie Earl Walton Wynn Dale Doyle Daryl Dan all of us start writing those names on tombstones cuz I'm on the way to your lab and we're gonna see how much of a family meth business you got when I'm done mm. They're dead, all of them, inbred hillbilly twats. Ship for brains. <laughs> I just spoke to that maniac Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it. But I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse!
Soon I guess I'll have to see you later then. I'm coming for you! Overtime! Keep him out of the lab! Let's die, see if we can die, cut you down die. to size. You gonna be buried in this basement. How about a merger, you prick? You get out this property! Ya fucking weirdo! Get gone! You assholes! Fuck, Trevor. Oh, ah, it's for the basement. You ain't getting it the lab. You gonna die in this cookhouse. to the ground. Disrespectful pricks! here you're not even hidden have you got it I've been trying Trevor I've been trying come on over here all right I ain't gonna hit you I've been trying I know I know I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley there's two Michael Townley living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. 
Shut up before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda. Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money and tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. Oh. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so we're headed to Los Santos soon? Soon, I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! We need a ride. Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bumped in with his girlfriend in some place called Vespucci Beach. Some place called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, that might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? For fuck's sakes, another chapter of the Lost have descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. up here. I'll wait till dark before I drop in again.
the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have dished you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government. They pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes? With my dead friend's alias? And my dead friend's family? In a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mindfuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mindfuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, T. Trevor? Lube up your eye hole, fucker. Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I am about ready to turn you into roadkill. Uh, please, don't turn me into anything. I just wanna be away. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there. You're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story, if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent. Charisma and guile that a boy could have. Right there, Los Santos. The end of the fucking earth. This is the place! I seen it on the holiday card. So, this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life, huh? It's been nearly ten years. Oh, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! I thought we were going to my cousin. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd over in Vespucci Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He couldn't throw, and his coach had a, had a stick accident like, like I had once. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up to the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable, grounded him for life. That's terrible! It was! Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike! Mich Michelle! A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes, 
He'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work, but you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls, and the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit, and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Did all the name just change, or am I missing something? Shut up! And then the fat, ugly troll came back from the dead, and the news picked it up, our hero decided to go out looking for him. I'm sort of following it, I think. But what happens in the end? That, Wade, we do not know. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I've seen it on iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. Just keep on a minute. Just straight over this one. It's a rag up here. Keep it straight now. This is the place, I think it is at least. Floyd! Floyd! Come up here, Trevor! Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck! Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink! Oh, you, Wade! <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here! He's gonna smoke meth here! Give me a fucking lighter! You can't smoke here! Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was caught in Evelyn's bed. A guy was never proved. You gotta go. Both of you. My girlfriend? She'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait. Uh... I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too. All right. Okay. Fuck. The oh, fuck is this shit? Is that yours? Of course not. I have only got myself to blame for the mess these kids are in. You are either drunk, or you're staring miserably at the clouds, or you're out there doing God only knows what. Oh, yeah. I done horrible by you. Pulled you out of a Midwestern trailer park. Got you a big mansion in Rockford Hills. Hell, the only thing you gotta worry about anymore is what part of your body you wanna have chopped off or sucked out again. Screw you, Michael. Ah, but you won't. I was faithful to you up until I found you in a stripper. <laughs> I would divorce your ass if I could. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Thank you, Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is. You have ruined my serenity yet again. My yoga is fucked. Oh. Is that what they're calling it now? You and your fucking yoga! Did someone say yoga? Oh, yeah. hello, Fabian, darling. Namaste. Namaste. You must be Mikhail. Namaste. Hmm. Nah, Michael, fuck yourself. Michael! You've got to work on your anger, brother. It's killing you. Yeah, tell me about it. Ah! There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? Ah, 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 ah. No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. 
What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, hmm? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. But it was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. <sighs> Good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, um, uh, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for Fame or Shame. Fame or Shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Come she might disagree with you on that. Jesus Christ, what? Now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we. What, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. You know, I could probably handle this myself. Let's say we grab a beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter, I'll handle it. <laughs> Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family? Fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, you're a model husband and a wonderful parent. I can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. It don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like piss, you got blood under your nails, and you look like you've been up for what, a week? Who the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor mother. Fucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. So where? Sandy Shores. The Alamo Sea. Ah, I hear it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, the golf links, all the pumped-up plastic sluts you're used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but... Yeah, don't worry, all right? I got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With actual friends. We got things to work out. <laughs> yes, sirree. Gotta be it. The maze bank. Let's go in. Hey, you my dude, right? 
Here we go. Come on. You can't park there. Production vehicles only. Show, man. <laughs> Come on, Sir, you dipshit. Did you wait? Ah, that host, man. He's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? Yeah, that was really... All right, it's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. Uh, hi. All right, Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like a, oh. a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music! Security! Security! What you fucking Hold say? Come on, big guy! Oh, come out there! No. Come on! Fuck no. Come here, you little shit! No. Go home right now, Tracy! Hey, you little prick! They took our ride, we take their truck. There! We take the truck! Hey! Hey! Not my rig! Let's get that prick! Look! He went left! How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting! Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. We're gonna flatten his toy car in this big rig. Don't you worry. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. Oh boy. You pissed off. It's all great. I'm a. What was I thinking? Buying a hybrid for my image. A piece of shit. If my agent doesn't renegotiate after this shit. He is fired. He took a left! Look at him! He's on the train tracks! We can have a little fun with him, but let's not try to kill this prick, alright? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up a little? Huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. Fucking idiot! Right, right here! You fucking idiot! Stupid foreign piece of shit! Took a right. Can't get enough of the celebrities, can you? Ten fucking minutes in LS. Shut up! That cocksucker might be famous, but oh! 
We'll get him! We'll get him! But well, we're sure taking our time about it. They wouldn't kill a celebrity, would they? I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. The little shit's all out of juice. Oh, hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Huh? Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing? Now, I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> All right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, lower, come on. Oh, please don't kill me, okay? I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, come on, get no. off. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Hey, Lester. Mike, hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so you can rest easy there. <laughs> ah, thank God for that. Davy, how you doing? About as good as can be expected, but the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davy, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if no when, he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. Uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. No. Well. And we better go about saving it together, because you and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy. 
Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? No, well, you've played dead before, haven't you? Oh. Oh. I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcoholic. I wouldn't take any bets on the state of the liver. We still think 40s? Takes a toll. He's an advert for clean living. Note the discoloration of the teeth and the fingers. Smoker. Back a day, I'd say. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Ah! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker. Ah! 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 Come out. Hands in the air. Come on. Might be in the other room. Now! That don't look right. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. But you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out. Hey, stop! Put your... I don't 
know what's going on here, but I want to fuck out! I don't know what you're doing here, but you won't be doing it much longer! Aye, aye, aye. It's all a big misunderstanding! Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, Elboro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown, in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building? You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Hey, Franklin. What's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember, I told you I know people. Vets who looked after me when I retired. You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit, Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy. Fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. The problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man, yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I, I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't, hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. 
Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin. You'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood here, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now come on. You better take off. Alright, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life! I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Remember after that boat thing? Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Favor shaming is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you! Hey, Michael. David. Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. This barn hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, duh. I love it! I, I gotta remember to write that down. <laughs> and to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andres, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa! Pure magic. They should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so, well done with our uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. Then why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up to questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. Huh. My career depends on this, and that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can teach an old dog new tricks. Let's go.
The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S., Covington Supplies off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet federal ain't on the deed, that's so. And we all like our federal government open and transparent. Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're the one pulling the strings. Tell me, Davey, who expensed this ride to the taxpayer? I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him, or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. Michael, this ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. All right, that's cool. I'm in L.S. anyway. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got for this. With you, we've got good leverage. Great! And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the F5B. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. Discreet? Control? Yeah, good luck controlling discreet Trevor. Yeah, I wonder how controllable and discreet he'll be when he sees the guy who killed me and put Brad in jail. Maybe I'll hang back. Yeah, that might be a good idea. You know what? You better keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit! <sighs> Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't bailed. Whoa. What, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen. If you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this, and they help us spring Brad, right? Yeah. We'll talk about Brad later, all right? I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. The government gimp at last. Eh, yeah, bite me. Let's go. All right, let's do this thing. We need to go to the agency headquarters downtown. Your new friends are a riot. No wonder you said sayonara to the old crew. Walking away ain't easy, Trev. But sometimes I guess you gotta make compromises. What happened to dying with a gun in your hand? Life happened. Annoying wife, two kids. Remember them? You get tied down, you can't move anymore. What about your ties to me? To Brad? Those ties are why you got roped in on this FIB instigated suicide pact. For as long as it keeps me amused, I am. I ain't exactly sure it's gonna be amusing. I'm going in on the west side of the tower. Get us in position, I'll drop. You fuck around while I'm out there, I'll climb back up this rope and strangle you with it! Yeah!
Keep her steady! Keep her steady! Next, I'll have this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I install cinema equipment, not surveillance. Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. You think you're impenetrable? See how you feel with this is 18 inches deep inside. Get the lube. Actually, fuck the lube. Let's dry dock him. The world thinks you're dead, genius. Soon you'll be wishing you were. Who the fuck is this? Terminate him. Close this problem right now. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. Get me the station, chief. I'm not finished. 36 flow. I got you. We are not. No, 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 no! Help me! We got a window, T! Pull us out! This is unacceptable! Please stay! I wanted to breathe that your body! T! We need to be clear of this building! The guy's shooting at you, Mikey! That's unfinished business! Clean it up! We'll move on! You damn softy! You're gonna get us killed, you know that? Ha <laughs> ha! It ain't me trying to shoot you, Mikey! Oh, oh, That's it! Oh. Get us out of here! You got a bogey coming at you, Franklin! I thought I had the easy job. more of a protege. Yeah, what, you gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, or to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. Huh? Michael, uh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Trevor, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy. DeSanta. That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. 
Hey, that poor some bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself, right now. Trevor Phillips is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse, off Dutch London and Banning. Great. Sounds just like my kind of party. Taking a dump? Ah, why do you care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I got abandonment issues. I see a shrink once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, well, you know, nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. Did you see his face that last time I popped him? <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you, you, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you. Hmm. Where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh. What are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep best of the way from me. No, oh, no. no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael. And this... This is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here... He claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know. I already told nothing. Nothing. I don't know anything. Please. Please. Sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price. VIP. You know? You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know. What did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh huh. What? I. Hey. This whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because no, no, I'm no. tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. All right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know? Go for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. The guy's your neighbor. Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? 
The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary, or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. There's no way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Cut. Hey, you want a coffee? Can I get you anything? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No. Who do you want? Just tell me what you want. Ah, uh, man. Ah, uh, please. Look at me, please. You're in the sausage factory, all right. Make some sausage. Not the jumpers. My heart. No, no, no. You can't. Ah! I am cooperating. Shit, please. No. Ah! Please. Turn him off! <laughs> Don't zap me! We need him moderately. Oh, ah! Look at the chub in his pants! <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Oh, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> Did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. Yeah, well, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Townley. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. 
didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave, and you fucking know it. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I'll tell what? you what you Loosen want him to up. No, please. This is a mental battle, my brother. You gotta convince yourself you're not gonna drown. Not the water board. Don't do it! Not the water! Ow! It shouldn't be legal! No! Please don't! It's all in your head, Ferdinand! Don't worry! Always by the book. That's my lad. He's had enough. Help me pick this up. I can't breathe. <laughs> it was all a dream. It's a nightmare. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped six weeks That's ago. That's what we were afraid of. No, I mean, so, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Talk. This guy we're after, what does he look like? Average build? Come on. Average height? Middle age? Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be hair. enough. Middle age, middle height, middle no, build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit, I, 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 let me think, I... Ah! Oh, Sorry, too oh. late, Trevor! Show our contestant what he's oh, won today! I remember, oh, okay. I remember, I remember! Woo! It ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What? Oh, I got brittle bones! Nutcracker! So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 you know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informant and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. Get out the scope. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Ah, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters, we need more. It's gonna be a long day until no. you give us some intel on our target. He's a, he's got beer. He smokes, he smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, Chim maybe one more time, just to be sure. No. Please, no, uh -huh. I told you, he, he smokes, that's all I know. Tell me where to start. Uh, are any of those teeth less useful than the others? Not the flyer. No, 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 no! They're all root! 
They just keep going down. It feels like you ripped my jaw out. I guess our interrogation techniques were a little too advanced. Rise and shine! I'm still here. Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. <laughs> okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> In these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes, Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. What the hell? That was the guy. I had a feeling. It'll check out. Well, we've got him. It's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> Let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mr. Wood. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. What? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. <coughs> oh, fuck's sakes. Come on, let's go. All right, I mean, you got a flight to catch, okay? Get you to the air. Oh, safety first. What are you trying to prove? Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kinda. Are you gonna hold it together? I don't want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 no. You have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're going to get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're going to spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate. Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We needed to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me with you. Jesus Christ, good grief. I thought we really bonded, but now I'm having my doubts. Departures! No one drives me to the airport. Be. Run! You're free! Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, alright? And look, trust no one, alright? You're alone now. Really? 
Yeah, really, now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. Is a, Trevor is a what? Uh, Trevor is a good guy. He's like family. That's it, ain't he, Floyd? That, 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 that's it, right. Yes, Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so. Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's going to leave me. I mean, this is her place. And the fornicating? There's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa. Whoa. Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam, he died a noble death, bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Oh, show me. Show me, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. <sighs> Mine ain't nothing special. But this boy gets the job done, all right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. Yes, I work at the docks. And? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly, rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person. Floyd, I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run, we got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it, T. I really miss... Come on then, Floyd. What you got for me? Like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. Uh, you're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Ah. Uh, Damn! We're looking for something to steal. Sir, I stole a pencil in elementary school, and I've been regretting it ever since. Boy, go always work a stick in the mug. Look, sir, please, just tell me what you want, and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography or a perfect turd. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? $236 billion worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track on what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put price tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, uh, there's been all these uh, Merriweather folks hanging around. Merriweather Security Consulting. Private army to the New World Order? My butt's gone The folks up. waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil? That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter. Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no. They won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague, Ralph... I don't give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. Is there anything else? There's another bunch of Merryweather guys out by the Navy warehouse. They got boats coming in and out. 
I heard they was testing something. All right. We'll take a look at that as well. Go park and get the dispatch. Uh, yep, will do. <laughs> Go park and get the dispatch. Come on, it's just about to start. Here comes the soup. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong real quick. It don't matter what went in his mouth, it matters what came out. What? We got a waste spillage and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> Get in there. You gonna take me to see this freighter? Yeah, it's over here. You ever got helicopters coming in and out of here? You know, those big sky crane things that could pick up a whole container? Now, this is restricted airspace. They won't let anything out of here without clearance. Shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that's stretched to 50 feet. Now, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they have the water surface real covered. Okay. That is the freighter I told you about. What do you think they got on it? We just stevedore them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. Over there, two o'clock. Looks like Forrest got on the wrong side of some Merryweather guys. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. A couple of containers and baby gotta be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now. You drive and I'll spot. I guess I gotta pretend I'm a dock worker if I wanna stay. How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers, they're gonna check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous, relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just, uh, Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together, stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happening when he's neck deep in shit. Please, just don't. It's those containers. Baby! B be careful! Hook it up! That's it! Now we gotta bring it over to Bay F! I know why they call them handlers, because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite! You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. Just drive careful, all right? Uh, there's guys all over the port who'll report a There it time. is. Now I guess we gotta get the other one. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. Nah, nah, nah. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Cranes! Perfect! Oh, shoot. Trevor! And attach it! Hey, whose dick you have to suck to get this job? Being a stevedore used to be back-breaking work. Now you're paid brain surgeon bucks to push an oversized shopping cart. I did not fellatiate no one to get this job. 
Deborah's old friends with the, well, with the... With the, with the say no more. You didn't fillet no one, but darling Debbie probably did. She probably enjoyed it. If my work here is done, I'm going up the gantry. Hey! There ain't time to admire the view. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. Get up on this walkway, climb down the ladder, and go into the cabin. All right, I'm here. What do I do? First, you gotta line up the cabin over the container. There's some lights on the spreader that should help with alignment. Looks like you're in line. You got it. Now pick it up so it'll clear the other containers and move it down to the end. Take us to the other end, bay number five. Further, come on! That's the truck. Ease her onto it. You want to line it up with the frame of the truck. The truck is clear to go. Signal man and crane driver working together. Now let's do the same thing again. Take us back up to the other end. Union thinks you'll get eye strain if you work any longer. Have a break. How about this view, huh? I'm gonna take some photos for the kids. Trevor, you want to see that warehouse? Come on! This rig ain't being used. It's on the other side of Port City. So they've been guarding one of them dry docks. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. 
If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead-end job. What? Dead-end? No! Floyd, it's dead-end. Being a unionized longshoreman's one of the best-paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. Uh, I've been doing this every day for 10 years, only usually with less of the criminality. You're wasting your life, Floyd. It's lucky we turned up when we did. I'm saving you from yourself. We ain't heard from Wade. What are you, his mother? He's fine. No, spillage shouldn't take this long to contain. There must be a lot of it. Good. Keep him busy while we get to work. Hey, 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 hey. You can't come through here. It's restricted access. No entiendo. Uh, no understand you, huh? Manifesto. Manifesto say deliver here. Mm. Hey, stop. Where the fuck do you think you're going? Get back, back out! Back out! Back out! Back out! Back out! Hey, got confused. Uh, God don't speak English. Uh, must have read the manifesto. manifesto. He said, he said, no, he said, no, he said, no, he said, Trevor, these photos, you've really stumbled onto something. The ship, Meriwether... Yeah, 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 I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. Way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Yeah. Of course. I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's gotta be that. Now, get back to work. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. There's only one man responsible. Of course, yeah. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Meriwether at the same time. I, I got a file here somewhere. in the name of all things holy. I, I, I tried to stop it, but it just kept coming and coming. Oh, it's, they're there, Wade. Look, 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 it's a, Betty, you're just not cut out for honest work, all right? <laughs> did, did you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 yeah more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. Right, this will do. That woman ain't even fine. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. That's well, uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We got to build him back up. Now. <laughs> and there, perfect. All right, so, based on my observations, I'd say these Meriwether security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing us a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, 
The other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, bring it back here, and find out what it is. Here? To the Congo? Aye, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? Offshore. Deep sea adventure. Gotta be. You and Floyd can help, and we'll bring along Michael and his unpaid intern. Okay, all right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever gonna smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right? And you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man. Smell him, no. smell him. Uh, uh, Trevor, Trevor, uh, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. You damaged Deborah. Uh, Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide, huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bag! Reach there. You're gonna have to scrub it. Ah, Trevor. Hey. Mikey, hey, listen. Loving it here in LS. Really settling in. Getting my first enema tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I heard about some action. Yeah, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, you bet it's okay. <laughs> Listen, I gotta do a little prep work, but so far it's looking pretty tasty. I'll need you to bring along that kid you've been hanging with, Franklin. Oh, yeah. Oh, and how's your flying? You might need to take a few classes at flight school. Why would I need to do that? Trust me, you'll regret it if you don't. Gonna be just like old times, pal. Submarine we talked about. You gotta help me store it for a few days. Floyd, don't go quiet on me or I'll come around and I'll, well, we both know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, all right. Bring it around to Pier 400 at the Western Docks. On my way. 
Here. Oh, it's just down the road, Los Santos Marine, past the shipyards. Is that sub covered properly? It'll be fine if we just get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I, I'm certainly not being short. I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and cajoled and tricked me. You don't want to cut? Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. Deborah's home. No cut for you, no cut for Deborah. Take it in this warehouse here. Uh, you can park it there. You're sure it'll be okay there? Um, sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here.
How you doing, Trev? Fine! For a guy who just went into an air base and stole a chopper, are we ready to go on this thing? If it's a heavy lift chopper, then yeah, I'll get everything ready and I'll call you. All right. Wait! So, it looks like we're ready to go with everything. Floyd don't think it's a good idea for us to meet at the condo, so maybe we should... Tell Floyd it is a good idea to meet at the condo. It's a great idea. And tell him we need chips and dip and prostitutes. Wait! Floyd! One of you shits must be here. Hello, Trevor. I missed you. Hello, Wade. I missed you, too. Uh, hello, Trevor. <laughs> oh, there. Hey, Hot Lips, where you been hiding? No, no, no nowhere. I've... I got a, a knot the size of a baseball in here, all right? Needs a little, uh, loosening up, all right? Oh. <laughs> Massage me, motherfucker! Good, good. Ah. 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 Trevor's hard at work, huh? Uh, where's the surrogate child? Who? Uh, the boy! With the stars in his eyes. Not like that. What's not like that? Oh, hey! Hey there, uh, You and him, the old father-son issues? Gives me the fucking creeps. How's the leg rub? Oh, it's excellent! Fuck. You wanna go? No, I'm good, though. Hey, I, I called you boys here to discuss this job that I've been planning. The fuck are you talking about? Shut the fuck up, Michael, all right? You owe me. Hey, did you talk to Lester? I called him. He's in the hospital or something, all right? We keep him out and we get 20%. Well, unless, of course, you go states again and uh, have me arrested. Hey, it wasn't like that. You better not have been. I mean, like, you give a fuck. Oh, see, I give a fuck, Michael. It's a position, a fucking viewpoint, all right? Like God, like evolution, like anything else. Sunshine, boredom, lies, that's what we got. Other people, they have other worlds, but for me, I'm like a vulture just circling the desert looking for fucking corpses, you know? A carrion-eating motherfucker. Do you understand that? <laughs> wow. Woo! Bravo, you fucking idiot. Man, I still don't get the score. What's the fucking plan? We got Floyd, all right? Now, Floyd's got... Not the... Fuck! Get out of here, all right? Now, Floyd here works at the port. He puts me onto Meriwether Security, who were running some tests out at sea for Uncle Sam. We're gonna take whatever it is they're testing. Now, got a couple buyers lined up. I guarantee no problems, no major heat. Mm, let's get going, all right? Let's take our slightly past dead vibe to an airfield where I got a sub, got a chopper, I got everything we need. All right, let's do this, you fucks. Sandy Shores Airfield, bro. Sandy Shores? That's quite a distance. What's with this guy? Man, I didn't realize we was going all the way out there either. I've been told your generation are work shy, repeatedly, but this is the first time I've seen it for myself. You won't leave the city for the biggest take of your life? Man, it's not like that. Well, what is it like, huh? You think the world owes you a living? You want money and respect, but you won't cross the street to get it. That useless millennial shit is more of a middle class thing. Where I'm from, hustling is still hustling, and going halfway across the state is still, uh, going halfway across the state. Yeah, well, Sandy Shores is the global headquarters for TP Inc., okay? So we gotta make the trip. TP Inc.? Trevor Phillips Industries. My company. Industries or Incorporated? If it's TP Inc., it'd be Trevor Phillips Incorporated. Just saying. You're mocking me! Nice! Is it so strange that I've made a success of my life? I know that wasn't what you wanted for me when you ran off, but still. Trevor! It's a business! 
Michael, an honest American business, and there aren't many of them left. Hey, you know this airstrip we're going to, we're managing it. Yeah, I hate to think what you did to the last managers. The lost MC LLP experienced an unexpected downturn. We had to step in. The Lost Motorcycle Club. <laughs> yeah, you're a serious businessman, T. I cannot believe this. The hard-working entrepreneur is getting shit from a guy so lazy he retired in his 30s. And then from this other guy whose sense of entitlement is so strong, he asks how far we had to travel when he's offered a job he ain't even qualified to do. This is why the country is screwed. There's not enough me's, there's too many you's. Yeah, a country full of you's. That's just what this world needs. Shit would get done. It would be Darwinian. Hey, look, dude, we helping you out. But if you think you'd be better off on your own... No, 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 hey, look, hey, good God! Oh, just let's calm down, all right? We have a score to take. There is profit to be made. I mean, don't that beat getting picked up by G-Men and forced to work for free? Yeah, 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 all right. Talk us through exactly what's going on. We're going out to Sandy Shores. I know that part. My guys will meet us there. They'll have the submarine. I'm gonna get into said submarine that... Wait, hold on. You had the flying lessons, right? Hey, I came prepared. I didn't know what I was preparing for, but I'm feeling pretty confident in the air. Good, 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 good. Hey, what's the next part of the plane? There's an army chopper at the airfield. You're both getting into it. Michael's flying. Gonna take off, pick up the submarine with me in it, and fly it out to a point off the coast. You're gonna drop me into the ocean. I'll pilot the sub down to find the device the government's been testing. I'll get it, surface, you'll fly me back to the airfield. What kind of device? What kind doesn't matter. How much will be paid for it does matter. These are government scientists we're robbing. I said at the condo. The tests are being run by Meriwether Security Consulting. Ah, yes, the mercenaries. Fresh from fighting our secret oil wars. Should be very relaxing. If stealing a prototype like this from the government was relaxing, then everyone would be doing it. As it stands, we've got an opportunity to mint some serious coin. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's easier ways. I mean, this sounds extreme, T, even for you. Can't we rethink? I mean, how deep are you into it? How deep? I've got a sub, I've got a big helicopter. I've been researching this since I got to LS. Those guys, Wade and his cousin Floyd, are expecting a paycheck. Same with my intel guy, Ron Joukowsky, who is a damn sight better than Lester, I might add. Okay, fine, fine, I'll go along with it. Listen, Frank, if you want out, I understand. No, 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 I'm good. I can do it with a paycheck. That's the spirit! And here's my... This is our chopper, I guess. Mm-hmm. This thing gets hot, they'll come in 
getting handy. Hey, I thought it wasn't getting hot. You said no major heat. In fact, you guaranteed it. It's a score, Michael. Even if you don't anticipate heat, you prepare for it. That's the code. That's why I don't take scores. Not anymore. I'm out of the game, man. What am I doing? Oh, really? You don't take scores? No. Not anymore. What say you, Franklin? I say this is a conversation between you two. So, that wasn't you guys then at the Rockford Hills Jewel Store. Hey, that's right around the corner from my house, T. I might have been there buying something for Amanda. I certainly wasn't robbing it. Oh, okay, oh, my mistake, my mistake. It was a, a pretty tight job, though, eh? I mean, the, the planning was there, they went in, right? They got out clean. I mean, there were some problems, but they kept their head, right? Yeah, they yeah, pulled it off. All right, all right. It was us. Of course it was us. Any other clowns would be in Bolingbrook now. Mm, no, there were some weak points. I mean, whoever fed that cheesy line to the parking guy, that guy, amateur! Yeah, show us how it's done then, T. If you're such a professional, this job will go great. Oh, it sure will. I'll do what I can. We're approaching the drop point. That must be the testing station up ahead. Jet flying along the coast. This whole thing ain't got nothing to do with our thing. Coming right at us. Franklin, grab one of those guns and get those guys off. 
What's it been? Huh, ten years? After this, the government won't care how long it's been. They're gonna put you and everyone you ever knew on their kill list. And you! I thought you would be smarter than this. What'd I do? Stealing a super weapon to sell to the Chinese! Damn, T! This some nuke or some shit? I thought you said you spoke to him. Yeah, I did! Okay? Kind of. I mean, he was all woozy and shit. It doesn't matter, all right? It's done. We've got it. Well, we could put it back. You drop it in the sea by the time they get a salvage operation together. No! Oh, so you want a drone circling your trailer? We'll get you another score, Trevor. You owe me! Wait, get in that chopper! Listen to whatever this fucking moron has to say. Okay! All right, and on that note, I'm out of here. You won't be seeing me back here in a long time. Hey! We need a score! Remember! Man, I thought I was done not getting paid for these licks. Hello? Me too! Don't you step foot in this yard! Why? It's half my house. Now I'ma call the police. For what? Disloyalty, boy. Disloyalty? What is you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what it is, homeboy. Yo, you ain't been to the set, ain't came to none of the meetings. Mm, hanging out with old men, ignoring your homies, acting all superior. Your mama would turn over in her grave, boy. Mm -hmm. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gang banger? Gangs is positive. That's all we got, my nigga. That's our heritage. Ain't nothing positive about your crazy ass. Man, where's Tanisha at? She got more sense than to hang out with your sorry ass. You know you always been like this, boy. I say left, you say right. I say become a doctor. You say become a patient. I say, who is that? Hello, Missy. Wow, Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise, Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass Shut sister. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, shut the fuck up! Here, darling, why don't you go get yourself something nice, okay? Oh, thank you. <laughs> is, is it seven dollars? I said something nice, not expensive. You want to be a greedy fucking cow, huh? No. Now get the fuck out of here, all right? You men are all the same. Man, what the fuck you doing here? Here with the boy. The boys. What? I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends, all right? Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. 
Man, I said I'm tired, dawg. What fucking thing? I love things. I'm the king of things. I ain't talking to you, homie. Hey, let's go do something about the thing, okay? What thing? I'm talking about the little stretch thing, man. Fucking beautiful. Perfect. It's a gangbang. Let's go. Come on. Oh, come Who on, is this man? Fool, man? What is man, just come on. Where's this thing happening? Down Grove Street. We shooting shit up, spraying some other fuckers. I can... Damn! I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. No more. What's happening? What you and stress set up? We buying weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga, for real. Not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you and stress concerned. Man, this is an investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh! First rule of business. Hey, since we're out here banging, either you got some dust. Fool wanna get butt naked? <laughs> I'll get whatever it takes me, homeboy. Homie's crazy, man. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> This the homie house right here. Hey, look, everybody be cool, man. Lamar about to do his thing, all right? Courier service. Packets to collect. You got the grip? Present and accounted for. <laughs> you like that, huh? Sample? <laughs> now we talking. <laughs> My throat getting numb already. So we good, nigga, right? Well, let's go. How about a taste? No, man, we leaving. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now you heard what your boy said, you're leaving. Hey, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Whoa. What the fuck? Did we ask for a key or a fucking ounce? Man, that's motherfucking drywall. Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here. Damn, you can't fucking hustle a hustler. We got to get off Grove Street. Come on, let's take 
Down here, down here, come on! Damn, MC Clip! That's the fastest shoot! MC Clip! Clip! Wait right there, dog! Hold up, hold up! Peace, peace! And jack they ass, homie! That's our way up out of here! Put your fucking hands up! What the fuck are you doing? Hey, they taking Clip's shit! This way! Damn, it's stinking this motherfucker! Shit ain't no river, man! It's a motherfucking sewer! Then we're in the right place! What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked the child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at this shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new mollus, sort of a super mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. Now, he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man. All right. Fuck it. I got you. I thought that you would. Now, consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm going to make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone.
learn something All every right. day. What? Okay Never, then. Dude. We need this area cleared. Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some wannabe hippie waving an hand. Man, you get what you give out, Mr. Lowry. We got a shooter! Take cover! Shots fired! Shots fired! Where is that son of a bitch? Keep your eyes open! He's here somewhere! Boss is down! Get the ambulance! Now! Give me that car, dog. Hey, it's done. I know. Good work. All right, well, shit. Let me know about the next thing. Will do, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little, uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and you know, property, so we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man. Whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit! Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking, that probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours, enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. OK, 
Okay, you know Redwood cigarettes? Sure, the cigarette that built America. They've rigged a jury to throw a class action lawsuit that would cover the treatment costs of thousands of emphysema sufferers. There are four corrupt jurors on Redwood's books. I'll send you the details. Oh, and we only have a few hours to make them disappear. The court case is tomorrow morning. Is that all, dog? Shit, that's quite a favor. And that's quite a house you're living in. Get this done quickly, and I'll try to throw in a sweetener as well. Now, I'd advise picking up some long-range hardware to get this job done. You'll be helping a lot of people with this, Franklin, including anyone who might have a sizable investment in, say, uh, debonair cigarettes. you in a magazine once. If you've got a pen, I could sign your tits. I do that a lot. It's all about working the tie-ins. Get down and lay down. Ain't nothing personal. That ought to do it. Hey, L, it's done, homie. All of them. Very good. I'll be in touch. wrong with you smoking in my house you know ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up you turn into an even bigger asshole thank you your support in my difficult times means the world to me I've supported you I left everything to come here with you and still that crazy bastard turns up I'll handle it how I don't know oh you know what just keep him away from me and the children you low-life whoremongering asswipe did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yes, she's very centered. A regular oasis of peace and tranquility, this one. I anger issues and worse friends. No Look. wonder I'm so upset. 
You too, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Oh. Come, come, oh. Miguel, come. Oh. Awesome. Oh. So, Fab, if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubts. So why is she driving a tank on hers? <gasps> Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Now we begin and put the asshole to the earth. Yes, we begin each sequence. Tatasana. Yes. Or mountain pose. All right. Un. Deux. Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. It is perfect. Now, Michael. I don't know about this. Tails through the nose. And out the mouth. Let it out, baby. It moves. Amazing. In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Strength, Michael. In and out with the breath, Mikhail. Breathe out, please. There. Strong. Like an erection of your youth. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. Wow. <laughs> you feel that? The emotion inside? Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. Breathe, Mikkel. Let it out. You're turning red. How many years of marriage, and this is the first time he's taken an interest in my hobbies? The silly man forgets to breathe. Tight! Tighter! Now, you breathe. Out through those wrinkled lips. He's actually trying. I can't believe it. You can breathe, can't you? Keep it tight. Yeah, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, Sheldon, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm, he may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. Mm -mm. Everything mm. is flowing in me. <sighs> Mike, would you? <sighs> Your core is very weak, Mikhail. Take in the air and release it, your inner eye. Breathe, please, Michael. Out through the mouth. Isn't this better than robbing, murdering, and being an asswipe? Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Oh, you gotta start braiding those armpits, Amanda. This is not how it is done. Be present, please. 
Your lungs, they work, yes? Let it go. Your aura is just like, wow. Take in the air and release it. When we met, he was actually limber. Breathe, please, Michael. Exhale. If it's too much, just go into child's pose. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? No vanity. Come on. Your lungs, they work, yes? Out through the mouth. Lengthen. Strengthen. Take in the air and release it. Now if you could just get Trevor on a yoga mat. Breathe, please, Michael. Out with the breath. Not bad. <sighs> you have come a long way today, Michael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikhail. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Uh, oh, mm, oh, oh, nice. oh, oh! What? Hey, enough of that! We can... ah! <laughs> Yoga is the answer, Mikhail. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! And that phony French fucking yogi! Ah! Jimmy, you still here? James! Go away! Oh yeah, fuck! You. You know what? If there was a rape button, I'd be using. I'm nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I gotta meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit. Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. So where's your friend? Burger shot. Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it. The mask was gonna slip. The monster's been exposed. The hell are you talking about? The real you. That bitter, vindictive old man. You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim. How many times... I love you. I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. But why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of this city. You brought me here, Michael. Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. Well, I thought you'd keep your head. You know, see through some of the bullshit. Maybe that's what I'm trying to do. If you think you're walking around a town full of idiots with your Midwestern picket fence values, you really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. 
<laughs> Yo, oh, bro, man, what's, what's up? up? What's How up, you doing? man? Good to see you. What are you turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Ooh. <laughs> ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck, Jimmy? Just, just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Careful with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. All righty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. No. Really, this is that Chill out. You're just paranoid. This is that paranoia. This is totally justified <laughs> concern. You should see yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Would you quit me? I gotta pull over. Oh, who's in there? It's harmless. Vets have been using it for decades. What? You anesthetize me? You fucking shit. I'm should. protecting you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. What? All right? You're too crazy, Dad. Goodbye. Jimmy! Jimmy, you little shit. Hello! I'm back! Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior.